After a long and miserable summer, the weather has finally cooled off, but hopefully your Sulphur Springs Wildcats have it. After taking their first loss of the season on the road at Mount Pleasant, the Wildcats found themselves down 14-0 last week before going on a 35-7 run and defending the prim with a win. Tonight, they'll look to do the same thing, going up against the Van Alstine team who last season the Wildcats beat by 30 points. This will be their final chance to play in front of their home crowd for almost a month. Will the Wildcats keep their hot streak going, or will the Panthers of Van Alstine come into the prim and steal a win? We are live from Sulphur Springs, from the beautiful Gerald Prim Stadium for another week of Sulphur Springs Wildcat football, where your Wildcats are looking for a second straight win. If you've been hanging out with us all year, thank you so much and welcome back. If this is your first time hanging out with us, I'm your play-by-play guy, Tyler Lennon, and I'm joined, of course, by my partner, my favorite person to spend Friday nights with, Ryan Humphreys. Ryan, what's going on, man? Tyler, it's a it's a beautiful Friday night in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Obviously very fortunate to uh, have a unique situation with two uh, home games in a row, uh, but I'm not complaining. It's always nice to be uh, at Gerald Prim and looking for a good game tonight. Absolutely, we do have, and we have a very fun pregame show for you as well. Tonight we have the Sulphur Springs Wildcat Hall of Honor, which will be happening in about 10 minutes. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a condensed pregame show for you tonight. But before we go any further, I do want to tell you about our good friend Shelby Gamble with CBJ Custom Apparel. Shelby Gamble is your East Texas corporate sales rep for CBJ Custom Apparel. She takes a customer service approach to apparel decoration, merchandise, and custom designs for businesses and nonprofit organizations. Give her a call at 903 903- Three four eight four three eight two, and as always, big thank you to her for uh, bringing us the pregame show and everything. Ryan, these are uh, two teams, obviously a little bit familiar with each other. Played each other last year in Silver Springs, had a forty-five to fifteen win. Uh, what what are you expecting to see tonight? You know, I think uh, I think what I'm expecting to see tonight is a continuation of how we ended last week's game, and that was on an incredibly hot note. Right. It was a 35-7 to run for the Wildcats. Didn't start out great, which was one of the hump's keys to victory, I thought, against Mount Pleasant. Didn't start out great. Against Hallsville, didn't start out great. But, man, they really rallied back and, and finished that game on, a, on the highest note that they've had all season. It's the best quarter of football that they've played thus far. Yeah, no 100%. Question. And like you said, we had talked about really needing to start strong. I think it was good to see them be able to bounce back that way because I, I think we both agreed on that. It, I think we both thought if they don't start off fast, they're going to have a hard time winning this game. You get down 14 to nothing, but like you said, a 35-7 to run, that was huge. Well, and here's the deal, Tyler. Obviously, we want to win all of these games. Every, every one of these pre-district games is, is important, but key word there pre-district right We're, this is about getting better and feeling the best that we can feel heading into our district slate and, and if you look at the second quarter against Hallsville last week if you play that way you're gonna have a chance at a district title this year yeah I, I 100% agree with that uh, and again it's it's nice to see him bounce back because it was a little bit of a slow start to the season but I think feeling exponentially better than you did a week ago even I, I would think as far as As far as coming into a game, tonight is going to be the first time that we feel really, really good about what we're doing. And so I expect this will be the fastest start we've had thus far. Yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, we were kind of expecting that last week with the the home crowd behind you and everything. But I think you're definitely going to see that tonight. Again, you're back at home. And this is the last time you're going to be home for like a month. Oh, wow. So I I, I think I agree with you. I think it's going to be a very fast start tonight. Um, We'll go ahead and start. We'll save Hump's Keys to Victory. That'll be here in a few minutes. Everyone's favorite part of the pregame show. But what are what are some of the guys that you're looking out for tonight? You know, I mean the the usual crew: Brady Driver, Skylar Lewis, uh, Wyatt Watson, kind of a coming out party last week. Had yeah. two touchdown grabs. He was last week's Way Bible Church player of the game. Yes, uh, you know I want to see the run game get going uh, this week. Defensively, Laren Vaughn, Ty Bobby, Grayson Hardy, a lot of names there. Zach Thomas, uh, you know Day Day Hall. There, there were there were a lot of highlights last week that I thought you know, golly, that kid's doing something tonight, or man, that's a, that's a really big tackle, or man, a big catch right there in a big spot. And so I think I think we're getting that we're getting that stride we're getting we're getting where we want to be for district. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I do want to point out I still don't think we're going to see Malachi Rowland earlier during the warmups. He wasn't dressed out, but I think we're going to see a bigger night from the run game. Rose Luke has been off to a great start this year. Efficient, um, very efficient, very if, efficient. If I had to describe his season so far, and you brought it up, you asked me a week or two ago who's been the most efficient running back, it's Rose Luke. Yeah. I feel like every carry, he does a very good job of, okay, this is a four-yard carry, and then we look up and it was a seven-yard carry. Right. He, he just he just kind of gets through that last push. He, he, he gets that contact and then is able to fall forward for two or three extra yards, and that goes a long way over the course of a game. Yeah, he is averaging four and a half yards per carry. It is 
kind of funny, though. You wouldn't think about it, but outside of Brady, there aren't – none of the running backs have a rushing touchdown yet this year. And, of course, once you get inside the five, it's a lot of Brady's Bulls I'm package. I'm putting in but a call tonight. We will have a rushing touchdown from someone other than Brady Bulls package. That's exactly where I was going. Yep. I think uh, I think we'll see a Rose Luke or a Cam <laughs> Jefferson, either yep. one. And I'm also hoping to see some guys – Jackson Hare doesn't have a score yet this year. Chris Adams, Tristan Hankins. I think tonight – if you take care of business and play and, and play the way that I think you can, I would like to see more guys like that get involved. I, I could see if I had to put a number on it, I think Sulphur Springs will well surpass 30 points tonight. I, I think, think, so I think as we well. can get over that 30 point mark. That, that would be my goal uh, as an offense is to surpass 30 points tonight. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, I want to save our official predictions again. We're having kind of a condensed uh, pregame show tonight because of the Hall of Honor and everything. I do want to save those for after Hump's Keys to Victory, okay. and I think we should get to Hump Keys to Victory in just one second, but first we want to hear a word from Shelby Gamble. My name is Shelby Gamble, your East Texas corporate sales rep for CBJ Custom Apparel. At CBJ, I take a customer service centered approach to apparel decoration, merchandise, and custom designs for businesses and nonprofit organizations. I will work side by side with you throughout your embroidery, screen print, or sublimation project to ensure everything turns out great. Choose from our selection of high quality materials and watch your business shine. Give me a call at 903 348-4382 348-4382 for all your custom apparel needs. Okay, we teased it a little bit, but again, because usually we would say this for later in the show, but want to go ahead and get to everyone's favorite part of the pregame show, Hump's Keys to Victory. So number one tonight, and I, I've really preached on this for, for basically the whole season, but this is how important I think it is tonight, and that's win the first possession. Whether that's offense and we go down and get seven points or that's defense and we get a quick three and out, I feel like we've done one or the other, but we haven't put both together. Yeah, uh, I agree. And so tonight I'm looking to win, win the first possession on both sides of the ball. Number two, we're going to do pedal to the metal, okay? And what I mean by that is – we, we, we've got the pedal to the metal right now. Offensively, we're moving the ball, coming off of a big Hallsville week on the offensive side of the ball. Let's keep it going into the night. Don't don't slow down. Let's let's keep putting it to them. Defense, let's – I mean, I feel like the defense is, has done a really good job of bending but not breaking. Right. And so let's, let's put pedal to the metal and keep that going. And number three, we're going to dominate on third down. Offensively – Brady's bull package has been incredibly efficient on uh, on third down. I feel like we we've been able to extend drives in spots. Defensively, I thought last week there were moments where we were exceptional on first and second down, but we couldn't get off the field on third down as often as we would like. And so tonight, let's dominate on third down both sides of the ball. Yeah, I think we saw a lot of that in the Mount Pleasant game as well. You would have a third and 10, third and 15 even, and you're like, all right, here we go. And then before you know it, they pick up the first down. So I agree. I think that that applies to both sides of the ball, Absolutely. but I do think we are going to see that yes, here tonight. Yes, I, I, I would agree with that. Uh, just a couple minutes before we start the Hall of Honor and everything, uh, do you want to do some players to watch and some official predictions? You, I'll, I'll let you go first. Okay, starting on the offensive side of things, we've already alluded to it a little bit, but give me Rose Luke. Okay. I think this is a chance for him to have a really big game. I think this is a chance for him to get the biggest workload we've seen him have so far, and I think he is going to find the end zone. Finally. Okay, uh, offensively, I will go I'll go big Jackson here tonight. Uh, you, you said he hadn't gotten in the end zone yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and put in the call that he does get in the end zone along with a running back on the Silver Spring side of the ball, but going over to the de- defensive side of the ball, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Grayson Hardy. Let's get. Like let's it. get an interception in the secondary tonight. I, uh, like that. I don't think we haven't had as many turnovers as what we had last year early in the season. Early right. in the season, it seemed like we won the turnover battle more times than not. So tonight, I'm looking to create some turnovers, whether that be in the air or we're punching a punching a loose ball out we're making a play on special teams give me grace and hardy to make a big play on defense tonight i like that pick a lot i was thinking about ty bobby myself he was huge in the game against van alstein last year but i think i'm going to go with nathan andrews last year nathan andrews did have a sack against van alstein and uh, i think this is a chance for him to get another one and we're getting him for a full game tonight you know last week he only got to play one quarter uh he went because there was no. Oh yeah, quarter, you're so right. He obviously didn't get to play the he, first he's half. He's chomping then, yeah. at the bit. He is. He is ready to <laughs> it's get after the quarterback. It's been two weeks since he's yes. gotten to play football. He is ready to get after the quarterback tonight. I know he's pumped. Again, we're getting very close to the Hall of Honor, and Ryan and I will step out of the way. We'll send that down to the field. Final score prediction, or do you want to say that for when we come back? Oh man, no, I'll go ahead and give it. Man, give me the Wildcats, 38, 38, 14, 38, 14. Big, big win tonight. My producer Corey. Producer he, Corey, he's he likes about that. the pick. Uh, 38, 38, 14. Final prediction. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's an offensive affair tonight for the Cats. I think defensively, we really, we we found after we gave up 14 points 
to Hallsville last week. Uh, you know, we had the interception uh, – to start the second half they got a free seven there but the defense it's looking strong and I think yeah. we're heading to a direction where we can really dominate on the defensive side of the ball and, and like I said last week was the best offensive game we had and so tonight I expect more of the same once again you and I have been on the same page with a lot of things but with our predictions we've been very close okay. all year and it, it's going to be the same thing I'm going to go uh, I hate giving scores but I'm going to do it tonight I'm going to go 42-17. Something about scores that I think is funny given a prediction, you've got to think about, okay, how can they get to that number? You can't right. just blur it out. <laughs> like 19 is a weird number to get to in football. Right. you, you got to think about, okay, how do they get to that? So 42-17, okay, okay. Both they, of those are manageable, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. yeah no, yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I said 38, so. Right. Yeah, no, that, that can you can do that. And we would get to see a field goal in that case. I know. All right, know. ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Hall of Honor. Ryan and I are going to step out of the way. We'll be back after this. Fred McGill, class of 1987. Fred McGill is an outstanding quarterback and two-time All-American. 
Lindsay currently resides in Sorkin Springs and is employed as a business development manager for Shepard Tour Solo. Lindsay is a member of high school decades, very honest. Lindsay Rob Barber, class of 2010. And ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Gerald Prim Stadium, ready for some Wildcat football. Ron, how are you feeling? Tyler, I'm good, man. I'm excited. Uh, obviously, congratulations to the yeah. three inductees to the Wildcat Hall of Honor. That's it's always a, a, a fun that's awesome. night. Yeah. Absolutely. Good good for those three. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of proud people for them. Obviously, um, that's something that, you know, I'm sure those three – Obviously, they felt deserving, but it's one of those things that you're just you're, you're happy that other people thought you were deserving. Uh, so I, I love the NFL Hall of Fame, MLB Hall of Fame. I've, I've, I've been to those, uh -huh. and uh, it's just it's cool seeing that. So Silver Springs putting a big emphasis on the Hall of Honors neat. Yeah, and it's very cool to see your former coach, Coach yep. Greg Owens. Yep, absolutely. Always, always good to see him, talk to him. Before, uh, before all the festivities started, and it was good to catch up a little bit. Before we go any further, for anyone watching the uh, the pregame show, you've probably noticed again, like we had last week, the drone shots that we've had, the aerial shots. And we want to thank our Part 107A licensed drone pilot, Hudson Northcutt. And we also want to thank him for filing all the necessary paperwork with the FAA to be able to bring us these magnificent aerial shots tonight, brought to you by Chad's Media. I do love the, uh, <laughs> the aerial shots. Those are fun. Oh, man, it's neat. It feels like it's Sunday night football or what, whatever. I, I mean, it's that's top notch. That's top notch. Speaking of, I, I don't guess I've gotten to see you. Well, not on here anyway, since the Cowboys played oh, the I first know. game. Well, uh, obviously, if you listen to Down and Out on Wednesday, you heard uh, plenty of what I had to say about the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> but if you're just joining us tonight, uh, I don't know. Feels like a different year, Tyler. Defense it does. is uh, the defense is special. For anyone uh, joining us for the first time, we've we've got about 7:10 on the clock before we get started. Obviously, for the national anthem and for the prayer, Ryan and I will step out of the way. But then you're stuck with us for the rest of the night. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. I think. I am uh, too. I think it's going to be a continuation of last week. I thought last week that second quarter was was the best quarter of football that we have played this year. Uh, and so, I, again, I expect more of the same tonight. Yeah, I do too. And again, I want to give another shout out to to Wyatt Watson. Got two touchdowns last year, the first two of his career, and he won the Way Bible Church Player of the Game. Speaking of the Way Bible Church, they want to extend an invitation to everyone to join them on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 10:45. Also on Wednesday nights at 6:15 p.m. at the Way, they are all about experiencing life change. They have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join them at the Way Bible Church to embark on a journey of transformation together. Got the alma mater out of the way. So you uh, you made a prediction. I don't know if that was on air or off air, but about the tunnel. And I, oh. Van, Van Alstine brought it. Yeah, I uh, I was a little surprised. Um, it, it's it's actually a pretty neat tunnel. Now, it it is. doesn't have lights in it like the uh, last two opponents have had. Uh, and on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna have to give it. I'm gonna go eight eight out of ten. Okay, I was going seven seven and a half. I, yeah. I like it a lot. I, I think. Uh, I do like the interlocking letters look. Uh, yeah. You know, Silver Springs kind of has the same look. Uh, and so, yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's a clean look. Maybe add some lights to it, though. That's, that's what Mount Pleasant and Hallsville were rocking. What's funny is up until this year, I wouldn't have known that was a thing that you should add, and now no. it's like I thought everyone had it. Right, <laughs> right. So to update for anyone that isn't or that hasn't seen every pregame show we've done, we've been ranking them. Not only ranking them like we gave a rating, obviously, just now, but we've been putting them in order. Who did we have number one? Mount, Mount Pleasant. It was Mount Pleasant. One. Yeah, because we, we've got to assume that Hallsville copied Mount Pleasant. Yeah, it was Mount, Mount So it was Mount Pleasant one, Hallsville two. Right. Is it now Van Alstine three oh, yeah. and Jacksonville four? Yep. 
I think think that's fair to say. By the way, we do want to give a big shout out to the people of Van Alstine. Obviously, for anyone that doesn't know, we have to get permission from from everyone to to be able to broadcast games. And when we spoke with their coach earlier this week, was you know he said he loves the work we do, says we do great work. We are more than more than glad to let us broadcast the game, so we appreciate it. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I, I think it's neat that we have so much viewership from yeah. the opposing school because just, you know, uh, we look at the comments every now and then. Uh, there, there's lots of lots of banter from the opposing team, uh, and so that's that's cool for us. Ladies and gentlemen, here come your Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Once again, Wyatt Watson is not going to be beaten in the uh, – <laughs> I don't know if it's an actual race, but he is the first man – to the end zone out of that tunnel. No flags tonight, though. Couldn't help but notice. It's probably because we couldn't figure out which direction <laughs> it was supposed to be. You think that we, was we, it? We've struggled uh, the last couple of weeks with that. And yeah. before we get any further, I want to go ahead and point out the uh, the elephant in the room. Okay. But, yes, starting quarterback Brady Driver. Yes. We'll be wearing number 27 Number tonight. 27. The word Obviously. is that uh, number four ripped. I mm -hmm. assume that that will get fixed. I hope so. Here in the coming weeks. Uh, but for tonight, you are getting a 1940s <laughs> style quarterback. A little Otto Graham, a yeah. little YA Tittle action. Yeah. Uh, whatever you want to call it. But number 27. I actually wore I wore number 28 in a freshman game. Oh, really? Uh, one time. Just because. Uh, just because. It it was, pictures were kind of cool, but. Um, yeah, hopefully yeah, so 20, time 27 soon. tonight for Brady Driver. Yeah, something to keep it on. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're <laughs> almost ready uh, for the National Anthem. We got a nice crowd for you tonight. Look at that. The student section rocking their Hawaiian T-shirts, it hopefully looks Hopefully a like. little better weather tonight. We are hoping for uh, to be able to play all four quarters. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were ready for the National Anthem. It looks like our players are, are ready to go. But about three minutes. On the clock here again, Ryan and I will step out of the way for the National Anthem, and then y'all are stuck with us for the rest of the night. Again, I want to thank everyone for uh, spending your Friday night with us here on Chad's Media or Front Porch News, wherever, wherever you watch us at. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for some Friday Night Light action from Gerald Prim Stadium. We've already given our predictions, but since that was earlier, since we had to step away for a little while, Ryan, do you want to rejog, re -jog, refresh everyone's memory? 38-14 was my uh, my official prediction. 38-14. Uh, so I'm, I'm sticking with it. I think I said 42-17. Yep, you did. Yeah. You did. 
And uh, again, one of the Humps' keys to victory was win the first possession. Yep. Um, and that's offensively or defensively, and preferably both. <laughs> preferably both. I agree. If you had to pick, though, which I side? Don't I, I don't know what I want to – man, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to get the ball and go down and get seven. Um, but I don't know. I feel like we've been starting out on defense lately. By the way, it looks like tonight's captains, Tristan Hankins, Cam Jefferson, and Cody Barkley. Okay. I will go tails never fails here. Agreed. Uh, Van Alstine, obviously the away team, so they get to pick. But I'm choosing tails. I'm choosing tails. Yeah, that's something that we're always on the same page yeah. about. Got to go. That's pretty, that's pretty consistently what I would pick. Shout out to the officiating the last couple weeks. It was pretty yeah. rough, pretty rough <laughs> that first week. Uh, but I, I think the last, yeah, I think the last couple of games, the uh, officiating crew have uh, ran a much, much cleaner ball game. I agree uh, with and you. I, I'm hoping, hoping we get the same tonight. Does well, look like, looks like Wildcats will be getting the ball first. Starting with the ball. All right, we're ready for some action again. Thank you to Shelby Gamble for the pregame show of tonight's. Uh, broadcast. Before we get started, I want to tell you about Clayton Homes. Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is dedicated to helping you find the perfect manufactured or modular home for your family. Whether you're still researching or ready to find your dream home today, their team is committed to answering any questions you may have. Visit ClaytonTheSulphurSprings.com or give them a call at 903-438-0820 to see how they can make your family's dreams come true. So once again, it'll be Tristan Hankins deep to return. We'll have... Jackson Heron, Skyler Lewis back there with him. You've got this lone man up top, uh, and, and depending on how many guys are on the side of the ball, he could be eligible. I've seen teams that will pooch one over there. They went for the fake. They <laughs> went for the. I tell you what they're doing. They're 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 showing that so that they can set that up later in the year. Uh, but that that lone man up top, you got to keep an eye on him. Someone's got it. Okay, Iverson does field it. Going to be taken down at around the 20. That's a great right, kick right, if you're Van Alstine. Right there. You're, <laughs> once that ball touches the turf, return is out of the window. Just jump on it, get a hand on it, and let's bring the offense out. Right before we see this Wildcat offense for the first time, I want to tell you about Aaron Neal, the principal agent and owner of Hanby Insurance in Rockwall. Aaron began her career back in 1999 and was born and raised in the Dallas area. If you're in the Rockwall or Dallas area, give her a call at 972 285-0381 to see how she can help you today. Wildcats starting at the 24, it looks like. And it's a give on first down. Solid run there from Rose Luke. I, I do feel like, Tyler, we, we both talked about Rose Luke having a nice night. I, I could see him, you know, instead of the normal – five, six, seven yard run. I, I could see him breaking off a 20, 30, 40 yard scamper. Brian, looking at some of our players to watch here, obviously Brady Driver. You mentioned the elephant in the room wearing 27. 27 tonight, but yeah. Cam Jefferson, obviously. Rose Luke, already seen him in action so far. Solid little seven yard run to get the night started. And they'll go back to him. And I think that's gonna be enough for the first down. Obviously, Skyler Lewis, another one to watch. Speaking of Grayson Rain, see him kind of lined up outside over here now. It's going to be an empty set. Going to have three to his right, two to his left. Quick pass out to Jackson here. Solid gain on first. Jackson was one we were kind of yep. mentioned earlier. Yep, I, I would love to see him get in the end zone tonight. 
Yeah, I, Tyler, I think the I, we, you know, and I know it's an unnoticed position uh, because if we're talking about them, it means they're not doing a great job. But the offensive line has done a great job this year of keeping Brady clean uh, for the most part. And I, I, I you know, I just want to give them a shout out. Absolutely. The pass out to Wyatt Watson. Got the first down, then out of bounds at about the 50. I would have thought he was a little further than that, but either way, got the first down. I, I like that play. Brady Brady pulls it. He's got a, either a run option or he can, if no one goes out with the bubble screen, he can throw it out to Wyatt uh, and kind of stretch across the field and pick up the first down. Yeah, already in Van Alstein territory. Play action. Looking deep. And Van Alstein comes up with that one. Uh, Tyler, I'll be honest with you, that is an exceptional catch by Brady Carson, the it Van is. Alstein defender. Two, two guys obviously following Skylar Lewis there. I would think tonight they're going to shadow, you know, put a, sh a safety to his side along with uh -huh. the man who's covering him. Brady thought he had him deep, and it really wasn't a bad throw, uh, but the defender <laughs> Came up with an incredible interception. It was interception. a great catch. After a, a good start to the drive, that ends. Before we see the Wildcat defense for the first time, I want to tell you about Sabo Provisions. They go above and beyond to create an extraordinary shopping experience for their valued customers. Their store is not your ordinary men's boutique. It's a paradise for the modern gentleman seeking style, relaxation, and enjoyment all in one place. Go see them on the square. So Van Alstein going to take over from the seventh. Give on first down. Well, Tyler, I would say, I would say first off, the uh, the offense was not able to win the first sure. possession, uh, but defense has turned, and, and you know, given the field position, if they can go three and out here, the offense is going to be right back where they started. Ryan, uh, that first play we saw, number five, Luke Juarez, player to watch from Van Alsen tonight. He had 116 yards last week in a touchdown. Firing deep on second down, incomplete. It's a great, but very clean hit by Grayson Hardy there. I mean, the quarterback, uh, that's actually a big-time throw over the middle. Uh, five isn't able to come up with it, and Grayson Hardy kind of kind of lays the boom there. Yeah, he was your player to watch tonight, as you see some of the defensive players here. I do love the Sunday night intros, or the Sunday night football-style intro that we get on these players. Ty Bobby, he's one that I've mentioned. Truth Holmes, he's been a beast so far. Third and five from the 12th. Dropping back. Wesson Johnson scrambling. Just through the hands of Grayson I would've, Hardy. I, would, I, I, I called this. He, he's going to he's gonna pick one up uh, before the night's over. Yeah, you know, he had a similar play last I week know as it. well. I know it. But what that means is he's constantly putting himself in the right position to make these plays. Dangerous throw there, uh, but great, great possession there by the defense. Three and out. Skylar Lewis is lining up around the 50-yard line, so if he picks it up there and is able to move the ball any, that's another great starting field position for the offense. Yeah, so it's going to be a three and out. And to your point, dangerous throw, but not that different from a punt. Oh, See, get that's away in from about that the one. exact same position. Going to get a little help with the roll, but still going to be on this side of the 50. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's right where you want to be if you're the offense. Yeah, we'll see the Wildcats offense take over for a second time before they do. Want to tell you about our friends Marcy Gamble and Micah Sheedy over at Amidus Healthcare, both of which have over a decade of experience. Amidus specializes in after-surgery care or after-hospitalization or a new diagnosis of chronic illness. They also offered skilled nursing as well as physical, occupational, and speech therapies on top of medical social work and certified nurse aides. Hope to see this one end in points, yeah. Uh, I would think uh, I would think here we will. I uh, like the starting field position. We're going to start this start this possession with running the ball, uh, and it's going to end in points. Brady rolling out, keeping it himself. Big run all the way up to the 30. It's a gain of almost 20. Brady uh, last week, I thought it was the first time he really opened it up, and and once the play broke down, he just he took off and did, did what he does best, and that's just extend the play with his feet. Uh, and I thought last week he did a great job of that, hoping to see more of it tonight. Yeah, I don't remember if it was you or I, but one of us had mentioned, like, that's kind of Brady at his best. Yeah. And, yeah, starting to I see agree. more of that. 
Well, and last week a time or two, Brady would roll out, and, and Jackson Heron and him were on the same page, yeah. just not able to connect. And so would, would love to see that tonight. Quick pass out to Wyatt Watson. Wyatt, good job of being patient there, waiting for your yeah, block. Yeah, and, and Skylar Lewis, great effort uh, outside on the blocking. Yes, it's a solid gain of about seven on first down. That is an underrated uh, skill set. Blocking is, and, and certainly a guy like Skyler who has aspirations to play at that next level. But receiver coaches, recruiters, all that, they are looking for what, what is Skyler doing when he doesn't have the ball. Right. You know, and right there, that's that's great effort. Ball's coming to his side. He's driving his defender off of the field. Uh, and so that's, that's certainly what you want to do. That's a great point. Second and three. Give to Rose Luke. Rose Luke still going. Up inside the 10, and for the first time tonight, the Wildcats will be inside the Bell Concrete red I, zone. I feel uh, I feel a 100-yard night out of Rose Luke. I think so, yeah. too. I don't know what we're at, but he's already he's already well on his way. Um, does look like we are going to bring in the Brady Bulls package. First and goal from the 8. Yeah, just gain up wow. just a couple there. That's that's the least amount of yards I think we've ever gotten on that play. It is, but in all fairness, when you usually run that from the two or the three, right. that may have been enough. Right. Uh, that's kind of that's similar to the uh, the uh, what do they call it in Philly? The tush push uh -huh. with uh, Jalen Hurts QB sneak. Again, enjoy that play while you can because yep. I think next year is the year that that will get outlawed. You know, you and I talked about that a Should've ton been this last year. year, and I Should've really thought year. I yep. really thought that was going to be an end. But should have been this year. Single coverage down low and up top, but you do have Cam Jefferson in the backfield. Brady keeping himself to the outside from the eight yard line. Now there is a flag. It's gonna be pre-snap. It's probably offsides. And so that touchdown's gonna stand. Let's make sure that you are right. Yes, you are correct. Touchdown Wildcats. Touchdown number 13 on the season from Brady Driver. Coming in tonight, he had six passing and six rushing. Now more rushing than passing. But Good snap, good hold, good kick. And with six minutes and 33 seconds left in the first quarter, your Wildcats lead seven to nothing. Hometown Concrete Supplier has been a part of Sulphur Springs for over 70 years. We are a locally owned, family oriented small business. We are proud to support the communities we service. Our plants are located in Sulphur Springs, Greenville, Mount Pleasant, and very soon we will open a plant in Blue Ridge. For the best quality and customer service in Northeast Texas, give us a call today at 903 885 3126. We appreciate your support and go Wildcats. 6.33 left in the first, and your Wildcats lead 7-0, and they're now 1-0 in that Bell Concrete red zone. Bell Concrete is your hometown concrete supplier, and they've been a part of Sulphur Springs for over 70 years. They're locally owned, family-oriented, family small business, and they are proud to support the communities that they service. Their plants are located in Sulphur Springs, Greenville, Mount Pleasant, and very soon they will open a plant in Blue Ridge. For the best quality and customer service in Northeast Texas, give them a call at 903-885-3126. Well, Tyler, if we didn't uh, if we didn't win the first possession on offense, we certainly won the second. <laughs> True, uh, and he won the first one on defense. Yeah, so I, I think we're I think we're on schedule. Big kick from Rodriguez. It's going to be fielded inside the five. Solid little return, but just up to the twenty. And Rob, before we see the defense, I want to give a big shout out. We uh. To Coach Shaver. Coach Shaver got a text from him. He's watching us tonight. Big shout-out to Coach Shaver. Obviously, wishing nothing but the best for him and his family. They were big supporters of us over here on Chad's Media. I guess still are. <laughs> got the text that he's watching. Van Alstein going to take over from the 20 here. Another give to Juarez. And Alex McCormick quickly wraps him up. Some help from uh, Laren Vaughn there as well. Those two, solid duo. 
I do. I definitely think that Luke Juarez is, is kind of how this offense runs, uh, obviously. So if Silver Springs can contain him, I think offensively Van Alsen is going to be uh, – is going to be crippled tonight. I think they. I think they have to have to involve him, and he needs to do a good job. I think so as well. Second and eight. Johnson keep it in himself, and again McCormick on the tackle. I think Nate Andrews was there to help him out as well. It's going to make a third and manageable. And this is and this is this is the type of play that I'm talking about when I'm you know dominate third downs. It's third and short. Uh, we're on our side of the field. We just scored seven points. If we can go three and out again. Uh, I mean, you're, you're really just putting Van Alstine in a bad position to start out this ball game. Yeah, this is a big third and two for them. Going to have a pair of running backs in the backfield. Johnson keep it himself. I think he's got enough for Did the first down. you see that formation there? Yeah. So they had quarter bit shotgun, running back to his right, uh -huh. and then a running back to his right. So to our, just seeing it from at first, yes. I thought he had one on each side. Right. And then it took me a second. But, yeah, just a pair of blockers out there for him, I guess. But – and right there, you know, the quarterback, he, he can follow the lead blockers on outside, but if but if the defensive tackle shades over to that side, and he's just going up and getting north for, for a gain of two there and obviously enough to move the sticks. I like that formation. Johnson keeping it himself again. Big tackle from Ty Bobby there. Be second and six. Give to Juarez. I think he's got enough for the first should, down. Should be enough. You know, another thing that Van Alstine I, I'm seeing is the splits of their receivers are so wide mm -hmm. that they're making Sulphur Springs, they're making Sulphur Springs defense widen out. And, and they're not able to load the box enough to be able to contain the quarterback and the running back at the same time. Yeah, he's going to have three to his right this time. Single coverage down here on this side of the field. Dropping back. He's letting it fly, and it is complete. Ryan, he's got a cannon, and i got to point out, he is committed to Arkansas Tech for baseball. Okay. Yeah. The he's Wonder got Boys. A, yeah. Yeah. No, good arm. Uh, and, and for a team that I, I would say historically is a is a running team, uh, I know last year they, they ran the ball a ton. Um, but, yeah, great great arm. Obviously, I can tell he's he's got a baseball arm. Quick pass and complete. Yeah, he, he's got a yeah. he's got a cannon. He's kind of got the sidearm flick of the wrist. Arkansas Tech, a former rival of mine. There Anderson you go. State. You're, there you In go. The, uh, great great American Conference. Yeah. And now, you know, something we talk about a ton, but now's that time to see the defense spin but don't break. Absolutely. Yeah. A couple first downs here, but, again, it's a 100-yard field on defense, and a couple first downs does not define the drive. Especially at the high school level. Absolutely. Dropping back. Again. Things that can go wrong a lot of times do. <laughs> True. Uh, special teams, weird turnovers. I mean, that, that, that happens on a Friday night, and that's part of it. That's that's part of the roller coaster that you'll hear me talk about, and you, you don't know when the next bump is coming. That completed pass going to make it third and two. Pretty much guarantee that this is four down territory unless we see a sack. or Johnson to the outside. And we're not going to find out just yet. That one all the way up to the 15. I mean, that's a good run. When you have a dual-threat quarterback like that, obviously a good arm, but he's a good runner. And I think him and Juarez in the backfield, we're going to see those two oh, carry yeah. the load a lot tonight. Yeah, a lot of probably read option type of stuff. Yep. Right here, they're stacking those receivers out wide, making the defense, making the defense respect it. And Ryan, he's going to get in. That's a big play. It I, is. I, I do. I really like – schematically what they're doing they're they're you're having to decide do we want to put enough guys out there to defend against a screen or a short pass or do we want to load the box and, and leave those guys open great answer there by van alstein silver springs goes and gets seven and van yeah. alstein has six of their own we'll see how the kick ends up There we go. After neither team able to score on their first possession, both teams do on their second one. 2.51 left in the first. We're tied up 7-7.
there, Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Pastor Joel T. Meyer here from The Way Bible Church, and we are beyond excited to support you in all things this year. Whether it's on the field, in the classroom, or in your personal lives, we are here cheering you on every step of the way. Also, we want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you to join us at The Way Bible Church on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m., also on Wednesday nights at 615 p.m. At The Way, we are all about experiencing life change. We have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join us at The Way Bible Church, and let's embark on this journey of transformation together. Let's go Wildcats. Look at Austin Chaney down there, defense, Coach Hardy, all having a little powwow. So yeah, a little interesting start. Neither team able to find points on their first possession, but they both answer back on the second one. I feel like you see that fairly often, though, kind of easing your way into the game. Absolutely. I don't. I mean, Tyler, this might be a high-scoring game on both sides. Uh, I think Van Alstine offensively, they, they've got some good pieces, and so I'm interested to see how Silver Springs defense is going to adjust. Uh, I think offensively, we're going to be able to we're going to be able to stretch the field on yeah. Van Alstine. I, I think we're going to put put up a good number of points. I agree with what you said, though. I like what I, I really like what they're doing schematically. Yeah, I agree. Hopefully that's something that throughout the course of the game the Wildcats can adapt to. We'll see how the kick goes this time. Interested to see if we're going to get kind of that squib kick. Are we going to kick it deep? It is going to be that. Wyatt Watson returns it and just goes down with it at the 30. So the Wildcats will take over. With two minutes, 48 seconds left in the quarter. 70 yards to go before they do. I want to tell you about Chick-fil-A. Serving quality food has always been the top priority at Chick-fil-A in Silver Springs. Whether you're dining in or picking up to go, they guarantee that signature Chick-fil-A customer service. Don't forget they have catering and delivery available for your next Wildcat watch party. Or maybe your current Wildcat watch party. It's going to be Cam Jefferson in the backfield to start this drive. And very much the opposite of what Van Alstine was doing. So oh, super spread very out, we're bunched. Very, yeah. very bunched. We give to Cam Jefferson and Van Alstine there immediately. I think that's Cupid Shuffle that one of the bands is playing. I can't <laughs> tell. <laughs> I think that's the Van Alstine band, maybe. We always hear our band play Party Rock Anthem. A lot of 2010s. Yep, there you go. I'm here for it. Second and 12. Jefferson in motion. Looking for Jackson Harry. He's got him. And Great uh, job getting north there. Uh -huh. uh, just, you know, kind of get what you can get. Follow your blocker. And we're going to have third and short. Yeah, it's a lot better than the second and 12. Third and one. Third and two, maybe. And we already all are seeing a lot more Jackson Hare tonight, I feel like. Yes, he, he's already uh, gotten his hands on the ball a couple of times, and I don't think that we are done. Brady keeping it himself. And he'll just plow right through everybody. His own guys, team or opposing team, doesn't matter. It's enough for the first down. Still not used to the 27 look, though. <laughs> I feel like we should be watching it in black and white or something. <laughs> it's now up to the 42. Feels like the first quarters of these games always fly by. Oh, man. I know. I look up, and, and it's it's we're getting ready to start the second quarter. Brady rolling out. Going to let it fly towards Wyatt Watson, and he's got him. That's a tough pass. Looking at the replay here, obviously something you talk about a lot, but, you know, rolling out, throwing across your body as he's getting hit, essentially. Tight window there. But great it just where great concentration Wyatt by Wyatt right there. Defender plays it well. Uh, Wyatt runs a good route. Brady puts the ball on the outside only where his guy can get it. Wyatt's able to haul that in and move the sticks. I mean, we can't say enough good things about Wyatt Watson, but he has been great through the first three games of this season. Now Wyatt in motion. Quick pass. Ooh, that one almost intercepted, but going to be incomplete. So 
second and 10 from the 44. This could be the final play of the first quarter. 27 seconds left on the clock. Trips here, they don't, don't look like they have enough people on this side of the ball to really defend anything. Again out to Wyatt, and Wyatt going to come up just short, I think, of the first down marker, but going to yeah, be close. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to run trips there and you've got two guys with a man over them and then that third guy is, is 15 yards off the ball in the middle of the field, we're going to run a screen all night. Yeah, there, there, absolutely. There's, I mean, the point of contact, he's not getting touched until the nine-yard mark. Wildcats go quickly, just a QB sneak. And I hope I, that one's I, I not out. I think we fumbled, Tyler. I think Van Alstein sure seems to think so. I don't know who has it, but it did look like, yep. It is a yep. fumble, and it is Van Alstein ball. So Wildcats chose to go quickly there, try to get the playoff before the end of the quarter. Ball comes out on the QB sneak. You know, and that's that's one that you, you obviously never want to see. Uh, Brady probably hasn't taken a ton of snaps under center in his career, and, and sometimes that's – that's one of those, you know, easier said than done type deals. And, and Brady, right there, he's thinking, okay, I got to get the first. I got to get the first. And, you know, we got we to receive the ball first. And so big turnover for the Wildcats. Van Alstein able to come up with it. And uh, there you go. Yeah, now we'll move there on to go. the second quarter. Before we do, I want to tell you about Josh Bowman. Josh Bowman is your local and trusted insurance agent. With a family of his own, he understands the importance of protecting the ones who matter the most. He also understands that no two families need the same coverage. That's why he'll make sure to customize plans to fit your specific needs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, Josh has you covered. Give him a call today. I also want to tell you about Clayton Holmes. Clayton Holmes of Sulphur Springs is hiring home building team members. Home building team members starting pay is $20 an hour with opportunities to grow. They provide excellent benefits, including paid time off and volunteer time to support causes that you care about. Join their team and build your career with Clayton. If you're interested in applying today, call 903-439-0242. Van Alstein starting at the 33 here to start the second quarter. Tied up, 7-7. Johnson rolling out. He's got his man, and it is complete. Gain of about seven there. Definitely impressed with uh, with the quarterback's arm, Weston Johnson. Uh, he, he's... I mean, thus far, uh, my, yeah. my perception of him is a, is a dual-threat quarterback. He can do stuff with his feet. Uh, right there, he's throwing on the move. Good pitch and catch for a gain of about eight. Pitch and catch because he's playing baseball. Okay, <laughs> there you go. There's Dede Hall on the tackle. I thought Dede Hall had a great game last week, kind of, you know, just the wall in the middle. It seemed like, you know, Hallsville couldn't get anything up the middle going, and, and every time it seemed to be 75 on the yeah. tackle. Yeah, him and Truth Holmes do a great job there Truth in the middle. Truth Holmes, the best, the best name in football. <laughs> <laughs> First and 10 from the 44. Johnson passing that one incomplete. You know, obviously we mentioned he is going to Arkansas Tech to play baseball, but he does very much look like a college athlete. Yes, no, I, I can definitely tell that uh, he's, a, he's a good athlete. Uh, Could have told you that he's playing multiple sports. Uh, but right there, I don't think he could have hit the uh, – Van Alstine receiver more square in the face. That was a that was a good ball. You want to come up with that one, and Cats are looking at second and ten on defense. Johnson dropped back again. Quick pass that one incomplete. Man, he not only gets it out quick, but he fires it. Well, and he's got that. He and and I I did it as a quarterback too. You know, with a baseball background, right there that ball flew because he's got that side mm -hmm. arm. You know, elbow low. Uh, you know, going. I don't know what position he plays in baseball, but very infielder esque. Yeah. You know, turning a double play, elbow dropped, and that football is going to sail. It's a, definitely a different throwing motion. Uh, the great ones can do it. the Mahomes and the, the uh -huh. Josh Allen. They can throw at that arm slot, but very, very tough uh, for most other humans. Third and ten from the forty-four. Drop back to pass again. He gets the pass out. That one incomplete. Really, it seems like Sulphur Springs and Van Alstine are really trading blows. You know, one yeah. scores, the other answers. One doesn't get anything going on offense, and the other, you know, the defense comes out and kind of kind of picks up the slack. Yeah, the Wildcats, I will say, I mean, to just have the seven points right now, you're, all of your drives have been successful. Yes, You've no, gotten, absolutely. You know, well into opposing territory and everything, but obviously a fumble and an interception of 
kept you off the board. That one going to roll out at about the 24. So the Wildcats will take over with 10 minutes, 55 seconds left. Real quick, Please before they do, I want to tell you about... ...family-owned and operated custom spraying business. We can help you keep your crops healthy and your yields high with our professional spraying services. We will come to your farm, land, business, and apply the exact amount of liquid fertilizer or chemicals you need. Not only spraying, we now offer tillage and seeding. We use the latest technology, the highest quality equipment, to make sure your land is getting the best possible care. Being licensed and insured, we take care of the hassle. If you have one acre or even 10,000 acres, we have you covered. So don't wait. Contact us today at 214-837-2206 to get started. First and 10 from the 23. And it's a give to Rose Luke. Rose Luke cuts back inside. And a huge gain. <laughs> Again, I, I just – I. Maybe at halftime we can get a stat update on, on how many yards he might have, but he's well over 30, yeah. 40. He, he's got to be close say, to 40. Yeah, he might be yeah. in the 50 ish range. Uh, it, yeah. it does look like a uh, looks like a 100 yard night for Rose Luke incoming. Just efficient. He, he does a great job of being patient, but he's also quick and, and kind of can find, find the gap. You know, where, where are the defenders? If they're going to go that way, I'm going to throw a blocker one way and get the other. Man, he continues to just be a beast so far this year. First and 10 from the 39. Brady rolling out. And again, Wyatt Watson. Have you know, yourself a night. So, something Wyatt does well, he, he has great body control. Uh, you know, right there, that's not an easy ball to catch and flip your hips and get upfield. Uh, you know, only a nine-yard gain, nothing crazy. But but right there, Brady's rolling out, delivers a good ball. And Wyatt, again, just, just great balance and, and knows where he's at on the field and is able to pick up a nice gain. Yeah, you made a good point about you know him doing that on the catch on the sideline on the far side. Great start to the night for him. Second and one from the 48. Grayson Reams in motion. Brady dropping back. Looking for Wyatt again, and he's got him again up inside the 40. Just just kind of in the sure thing Is he receiver. going for a back-to-back uh, yeah. <laughs> player of the game? <laughs> just a very, uh, I don't know, a safety blanket is a good way to put it, but Brady certainly – is looking for Wyatt Watson. I mean, right there, he's just running a simple dig across the field. And, and Wyatt, you know, goes up, makes a big catch. Signals for the first down. <laughs> yeah. We'll be seeing the C.D. Lamb uh, uh -huh. first down antics here before a while. Yeah, I bet you're right about that. <laughs> first and 10 from the 39. Looking for Skyler. That went incomplete. And I will say, before that ball was yeah, snapped, lot, I could have told of, you where that one was A lot was of hand action. Seven, seven's not going to agree, but but the way I see it, it looked like even before that ball came out, we were getting pretty handsy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think like you're saying, he's he tugging, read he's, that. He's, uh -huh. pulling, he's pulling him down, and, and just when, when, the re when the referee sees that receiver's chest. Oh, we, chest, are, we are getting it. There you go. Yeah, no, they, they threw it out. Uh, when, when you see that chest drop from a receiver – that's not how he's running, so something's going on. Yeah, and credit to Brady for re for recognizing that immediately because, yeah. again, as soon as it was snapped, you and I, anyone watching, could tell where he was going, but right. that, that's why he's doing that. Just going to move him up to the 30. Once again, knocking on the door of that Bell Concrete red zone. I believe still one and one, one in the one red zone. One for one in the red zone, yeah. yep. Weren't, weren't quite to the red zone with the fumble, and so the uh, the finishing the drives is still still intact. This one to give to Rose Luke. That's a good tackle there it in the is. open field because if he if he misses that one, I, I'm betting that Rose Luke makes the safety miss and is scampering into the end zone. I agree with you. Was that a touchdown saving tackle? That's it what may they have would been. say. On, that's what they'd say on the video game. You always you always hear that. I laugh because isn't every tackle <laughs> right. a touchdown saving <laughs> tackle? It's a fair <laughs> point. They say it every video game. I'm telling you. They do. It's a fair point. Nine oh three left here in this first half. Second and ten. One of these plays, we are going to catch the Van Alstein, Van Alstein defense sleeping, and they're not going to shade that safety over to Skylar Lewis. Rose Luke with a good cut back inside. That's a solid, solid gain there on second down. It's going to make third and five, third and six. Or no, even less than that, third and three. Yeah, you're always looking for the press coverage in 
Skylar does get a lot of press coverage, but it's usually with it's, you know some safety it's help. It's press coverage yeah. with with a safety blanket behind you. A lot lot of teams show that look, and and you have to. He's just a one on one nightmare. Now might be the. But what I'm telling you though, one of these plays, the defense is going to get. Brady keeping himself. I think he's got. Yeah, yeah that's going to be enough. First down. And for the second time tonight, inside the Bell Concrete Red Zone. I like the ESPN. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Jackson Hare and Chris Adams will be out there along with Skyler and Wyatt. Rose Luke in the backfield. Brady's got Chris Adams. Adams gets in from the 17. First and 10. What a play. Yeah, Adams right there. He, he's looking for that gap, that zone coverage. Where, where are they not? He fits into that hole and, and makes a nice catch, gets upfield, and gets in the end zone for the first time this season. Yeah, that is touchdown number one on the year for Chris Adams. It's the seventh passing touchdown of the season for Brady. And brings him to 14 good hold. total. Good kick. And with seven minutes and 34 seconds left here in this first half, your Wildcats now lead 14 to seven. Brian, while we got a second, I want to tell you about Elevate Aesthetics in Silver Springs. They are the elite med spa for all your anti-aging treatments. They offer Botox and fillers as well as B12 and skinny shots and more. Give them a call at 214-215-1333. And remember, aging is inevitable, but beauty is a choice. Also, I want to give a big shout-out to our friends at Muddy Jake's. Muddy Jake's is your home for delicious food and the best sports entertainment. With a lively atmosphere, friendly service, and great prices, Muddy Jake's is the perfect place to watch the Silver Springs Wildcats game every Friday night. You know, next Friday night, we finally hit the road again, go to L.E. Be a good time. Go have some food. Go watch the game at Muddy Jake's if you can't make it out to L.E. You know, we touched on it before the game, getting, getting some different guys in the end zone tonight and, Chris Adams, first touchdown of the year. Great play, great throw by Brady, and, and just, just a good job of knowing when you're, where you're at on the field, making the easy catch and getting upfield and falling into the end zone. Ryan, I have it written on my pregame sheet here, but uh, I had specifically written down his name. Uh, looking for someone who hasn't scored yet, someone to get more involved. The first name I wrote down, a uh, Chris Adams. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Check one. That one fielded by Juarez near the 10. And big that one, hit. That is a big hit. Who is that? Alex McCormick. He's second, been all over the place tonight. tonight. Yeah. Yep. I think three or four maybe. Okay, yeah. there you go. Been all over the place. Real quick before we see the uh, Van Alstine Panthers take over again, I want to tell you about Triple Crown Roofing. They are your local roofing experts from repairs to complete roofing systems. With competitive prices and free consultation, they are the easy choice when it comes to roofing. Contact Triple Crown Roofing today at 903 Six eight nine zero eight zero zero. Triple Crown Roofing. Roofing done right. Tyler, a couple of uh, district opponents, how they're doing tonight. Farmersville is up 21-0 over Community. Paris tied 7-7 with Van and Anna in the big game of the state. Yeah. Anna versus Salina, they are up 14-3. Oh, wow. It's a gain of about four from Juarez on first down. Yeah, I was really excited to see how Anna Solana was going to yep. go. No, that's a big one. Obviously, you know, those are two teams that have a chance to make a run in the mm -hmm. playoffs this year. Obviously, Anna is in our district. That's going to be the last game of the season. And, and I think, you know, not to look ahead, but I think that one could, you know, be ultimately be what it comes down to, what what the district championship comes down yeah. to. Uh, and so looking looking forward to that. But we got to go 1-0 this week. Yeah, can't look any further ahead than, than this week because Johnson has a huge run on second down there. Like you say every week, man, go 1-0 yeah. this week. I tell you what, Weston Johnson is uh, so far my, my early favorite player to watch, yeah. oppo opposing player to watch. Uh, he's, uh, he's solid. He's solid. I did like Jermaine Taylor uh, for Jacksonville receiver. He could play. Yeah, he was solid. And another – now, the ball is out, but I That's, think they're blowing yeah. it dead. 
They're actually marking. They're marking yeah, for progress uh, <laughs> yeah. as a five-yard gain. Even though uh, the which ball is funny because the, the behind the line of the scrimmage, fumble, <laughs> the late fumble call was was a loss of one. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Somewhere between a yeah. loss of one and a fumble and a yeah. gain of five. Second and five. Pretty much that tells me we should have blown the whistle a little yeah. earlier. <laughs> Johnson passes. It is complete. Up past the 50. Ooh, a spin all the way up to the 20. Ryan, when was the last time you saw a spin yeah, move? Yeah, Brady Carson with the circle button. Uh, uh -huh. Van Alstine does a great job of blocking on the perimeter. And, and Brady Carson, you know, a, a very easy – Easy throw and catch. I talk about that a lot, but he's able to move the sticks, continue the play, and, and a simple a simple four-yard completion turns into an X play for Van Alstine. Now Johnson keep it in himself on first. Now is that ball? No. He kept it himself. It looked like it was out for a sec. No, it is no, out. Right, yeah. Are they blowing it dead? It's Silver Wildcats Springs ball. ball. I, he, he's able to get his hands on it, almost put both hands on it, and completely strips it out of the quarterback's hand. Now that's Braxton Wall who's going to force Look the fumble that. there. Both hands on the ball and just absolutely pulls it out from just the quarterback's honey grasp. Honey Badger yeah, style. Yeah, that, that was – Braxton he, he Wall one thing on his mind and one thing only. I don't care about the tackle. Someone's going to come and do it. I'm getting the ball. Braxton Wall has been a beast this year, and there he is making another play. Huge play there, and, and Van Alstine is driving. They have the big play Into off the, the red screen. zone, yeah. yeah. Big big play on the screen. Quarterback keeper, they're looking to get in the end zone. Turnover Wildcats. Braxton that's, Wall that's may have one. just saved the Wildcat seven points. And a play like that, you know, that if we go down and score here, that, that's basically a 14-point swing. Oh, absolutely. Brady keep it himself. Brought down quickly. No, nah, that's that's huge. Yeah, no, big big play in the red zone there. I did say before the game, I feel like we haven't created as you many had, turnovers as we did early in the year last year, and you so did. that's that's uh, that's number one for tonight. Yeah, you did. Five minutes left here in this first half. Getting ready for the uh, Wildcat band and the Blue Blazes. Brady out to Schuyler. Schuyler's going. Now there is a flag back in the backfield. We'll have to see how that's ruled. Unfortunately, that's going to be block in the back, chop block, something. Uh, but on a screenplay, when there's a flag, it's almost always uh -huh. on the offense. Yeah, I think you're going to see it right there maybe. Yep, that's going to be that's we'll going to be blocking the back. The back. Maybe. Called it holding, but nonetheless, coming back. Tyler, I blinked, and, and there was ten minutes in the second quarter, I know. and now there's four. So that's going to make second and 17 is what the scoreboard is showing here. Brings us back to about the five. Yeah, the first down marker at the 22. So this is a big, big two plays here, because uh, you know if you if you don't move it here, you don't move it on third. Van Alstine is is certainly going to get the ball in good field position with plenty of time to tie this thing up. Uh, so the next two snaps here are big. Give to Cam Jefferson. Jefferson makes his way back to about the 10. Third and 12. I don't know. This is one where obviously great to get the first down, but even if you could get seven or eight yards out of this, you don't go for it on fourth, you at least give yourself some more room to, to punt it across the 50-yard line. Yeah. But if you, but what I'm saying is if you throw an incomplete pass here, you're punting from the 10, mm -hmm. they're probably going to be on this side of the 50 with four minutes left in this half. Yeah, and again, that would be the difference, if nothing else, in another 40 seconds from the play clock. Yep. Four minutes left here in the half. Brady dropping back, looking for Schuyler, and that one incomplete. Great route, great ball. Schuyler's going to want that one back. That's a catch that he makes 10 times out of 10, uh, just not able to come up with it there. Yeah, and he would have been very close to the first down. I don't know that he would have gotten it, but it was going to be close. 
then you're asking, do you go for it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> our batting average, our batting average with Force and Short is pretty good this year. It is and, solid. And I'm thinking, I don't know, that felt like a risky Faircloth moment where where let's let's leave him out there. Let's let's trust the big boys up front. See what we can do. Now gonna be forced to punt. Gonna need some help from a bounce probably on this one. Solid punt. That one returned right at the 40. Up to the 20. Up to the 10. Big hit by Brady, Brady Driver. Brady Driver. <laughs> Going to see it on the replay here. Huge return, though, by seven for Van Alstein. Brady that is Driver. a big hit. Now, I will say uh, that's not your typical punter. No. Uh, land the wood there, but. I mean, great field Nor position is it for your Van Alstine. typical Alcine. quarterback, though. Yeah, Brady Brady Carson uh, on the return there. You know, he was the one with the big run in after the catch mm -hmm. from the screen last possession, and and you know, obviously get the ball in that kid's hands and punt return. You know, he's he's all over the place, and that's that's a huge return. That's going to be first and goal from the seven. Well, depending on what happens here, I mean, the Wildcats still have all three timeouts, so. First and foremost, want to keep him off the board, but. Johnson keeps himself, and he's going to get in. And I'm not going to lie, they had me full. I honestly thought he'd given it to Juarez. Yep, that's a, that's a great play call. Uh, obviously, that's exactly how you draw it up if, if you're Van Alstine, and they are quickly back on the board, and this thing's going to be tied. Now on the bright side, they scored quickly. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah, three, three minutes left. and 30 seconds. Plenty of time for the Silver Springs offense to go out and get three or seven of their own. And, and I think that's what they're going to be looking to do here. There, there's plenty of time. Call your whole offense. Uh, and obviously, going into the locker room, you want to you wanna go in on a high note. Yeah, and I think with the way you've moved the ball tonight, that you should be able to do that. So it is good with three minutes and 30 seconds left here in this first half. Things will be all tied up at 14 before we get to see the Wildcats one more time in this first half. I'm going to tell you about East Texas Physical Therapy. They are a provider of physical therapy and rehabilitative services in Silver Springs. After a visit to East Texas Physical Therapy, each patient will know what it means to have service beyond excellence, and they hope that you will return to their facility for all your rehab needs. also want to give a big shout-out to our friends at Discount Wheel & Tire. Discount Wheel and Tire of Silver Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today. Discount Wheel and Tire, proudly serving our Wildcats for over 25 years. Van Alstine been uh, kind of doing the pooch kick so far here tonight. Would assume we're going to get another one of those, but who knows. If there were ever a time to boot one, I feel like now would be the time late in the late in the half. But. Wyatt Watson. On the return there, and he just goes down at the 28. So the Wildcats will have about 326 to go 72 yards. But I'm they okay. will have all three timeouts. I'm okay with the the you know squib kick strategy, you know, because they're they're basically banking on okay we're they're going to get to the 30 on the return. Right. Uh, we're at least going to put in the variable that something could go wrong. Yeah. They and don't I'm, field it right, and, and we make a huge play on special teams. And I'm taking the ball out of your playmaker's hands. You're, you're not kicking it to uh, the most athletic player right. on the field. Uh, and so that's that's not a bad move. Yeah, I feel like it's very atypical from like what you're used to a high school squib kick being. I could see that resulting in a turnover at some point. Brady gives to Rose Luke. Rose Luke to the outside. There is a flag on the play back in the backfield. It is in the area of holding. That's the second That's the second play tonight, big play tonight, that's been negated by holding. Uh, and, and, you know, that's, that's tough for an offense. You, first down on holding, you're looking at first and 20 now. Uh, that's obviously – I mean, you're not heading in the right direction. You're going. You're going backwards. Uh, and so, 
offensive penalties are what's the word obviously i know there's defense penalties and offense penalties but offensive penalties you really get behind the sticks uh-huh. a lot quicker than because it's a hundred yard field uh, for the defense you, right. you've got just because it's first down there's still opportunity but offense now you, you've got to get two first downs to yeah to even get one right you see what i'm saying no that's a good point first and 20 from the 18 brady dropping back Gonna have to roll out. That one misses incomplete. What do you do here? Second and 20, you think? <sighs> Tyler, what I was gonna say is, you know, you gotta be careful here. You run the risk of Van Alstine getting the ball back and having time to score again. Uh, they're gonna start the second half with the ball, and so you don't. You don't want to get in a position where they, they scored on the last possession, they score on another possession, and then open up the second half with another score. Yeah, it's going to be an empty backfield, so maybe a quick pass or something in that realm. Brady kind of came up limping because I was going to say maybe a QB draw is a nice play here. That one incomplete. Third and 20. It's third and 20 here, Tyler. I almost run the ball. Just to either force Van Alstine uh-huh. to call a timeout or to waste 40, or to seconds. Waste 40 yeah. seconds. Yeah, and it would also help you out with the uh, the punting position, yes. I think. I, well, here's the deal. If you run a draw here, run the ball, Van Alstine is, is obviously going to defend the pass, not to give up a first down. So you're I mean, yeah, you're you liable can to get, see they're, they're pretty deep. You're, it looks you're like. liable to get 10, 12 yards here pretty easily. Uh, Agreed. And so, worst case, you know, better field position, and Van Alstine's going to burn a timeout. And you never know. Rose Luke can always break break off something big. Brady is dropping back. Looking for Skyler. That one intercepted at the 30. Inside the 20 now. They're going to mark him out at the 9. That is the third turnover of the night that Van Alstine has forced. And now they're going to get it inside the nine with 2.35 left and a chance to take the lead. Very uh, very unlike Brady right there. He's usually pretty smart and pretty safe throwing across the middle of the field. Uh, but that one, you know, the, the linebacker for Van Alstine is able to make a, a good read on it. And that's, that's another big play for Van Alstine. Yeah. You know, you had mentioned earlier in the night about winning the turnover battle. Yep. I mean, now Van Alstine has now forced three turnovers. And that's – that's. I mean, that's always something to look at. You, There's not a football game on this planet where that is not – you know, nine times out of ten, that yeah. is the deciding factor in lots of football look games. Look at I'm last not, night's Thursday night football yeah, game. I, I'm not saying that's what the result is going to be tonight, but that is a huge determining factor in who wins football games. First and goal from the nine. Johnston keep it in himself. And if you're Van Alstine, I mean, you cut it in half. You keep the clock running. That's that's a great first yep. down. Second and goal from the And again, keep it in himself. Wildcat defense. First, first and second, first and second down there. Wildcat defense come up huge. Uh, so th- this is going to be a big third down play for for the Wildcat defense. If they can, if they can get out of this with a field goal, I would yeah. consider that a huge win. I would as well. Now Faircloth is running towards the ref. He is going to ask for a timeout. He's going to get it. One thirty-eight left in the half. Hi, I'm Katie Adair with Jane at Martin Realty. I'm also the proud mother of two boys and an officer in Mother's Culture Club. I understand the importance of a safe and supportive community for your family. That's why I'm passionate about helping people find their perfect home. When you work with me, you get more than just a realtor. You get a trusted partner who is active in the community and cares about you and your family's future. So if you're looking for a realtor who is passionate about helping you find the perfect home, make sure to give me a call. I look forward to helping you. One thirty-eight left in the half. Be third and goal from the six. So Wildcats will now have two timeouts. 
You were mentioning before the timeout, if you could hold him to three, that would be huge. Absolutely. And then, I th you know, you get the ball back. Uh, you see where you end up on the kickoff return. And, and, you know, first or second down, you see what you do. And then you decide, do we want to try to go get points with two timeouts? Now, y'all don't go anywhere during the uh, the half. We have a great halftime show brought to you, as always, by a &S Air Conditioning, which I'll tell you about here in just one minute. Make sure you get to see the Wildcat State semifinalist band and the Blue Blazes. Third and goal. Got a man in motion. Passes to him. Did he get in? They said he does. And Van Alstein, with a minute and a half left in this first half, is going to take the lead. Great play call there. I mean, you motion out the back, and you're, you're forcing, you know, you, you've got trips over there, and the Wildcat defense is man up. You're forcing a backer or a safety to run across the field following that running back, and he's got to make an open field tackle with five yards of space. That's, uh -huh. that, that's no easy ask. Ty Bobby almost was able to, to get him out of bounds, but – Reached out and got it. And it's good. So with one minute and 30 seconds left in the half, Van Alstein takes a 21-14 to 14 lead. Ryan, real quick, I want to tell you about our good friends at BT Medical. You can go visit their store where you can find wheelchairs and hospital beds as well as many other necessary medical equipment. And don't worry. If you can't leave the house, they offer convenient delivery and 24-7 on-call services. Keep your business local with BT Medical, supplying equipment with care. And Ryan, when you have a sports injury, Christus Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is the team to trust. With fellowship sports medicine orthopedic surgeon Dr. Christopher Meltzakos and hand fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon Dr. Christian Douthit, your health is in good hands. To schedule an appointment in Sulphur Springs, call 903-885-6688. So Wildcats will have a pair of timeouts left. Again, like I said, I, I think you I think you look at what you do here on this return. Uh, where does this squib kick end up? What do we do on first and second down? And that really is going to decide, are we going to go into the locker room down seven or are we going to go try to get three or mm -hmm. seven out of this? You need one of these squib kicks to take kind of that, that candy hop yeah. into a running head start return, man. <laughs> And and uh, then you're a little outnumbered on the on the kickoff team. Yeah, of all the high school teams we've seen do this sort of thing, I think they do it the best. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they really very clean because a lot of the time it's at the forty or it's at the right. thirty-five. They're doing a good job of putting it back at what would have been a touchback or so. Wyatt does fill that one, and gets out at about the thirty. So you'll have a minute twenty-seven to go seventy yards. Have we decided what field goal range is? I don't know uh, that we have. For us, and we just haven't attempted a lot of field goals this year. I think you would. I think you would attempt a forty-yarder, 30, 38. I think especially right before the end of the half. I'm saying, I, that I'm obviously saying, changes. I'm saying but one second, no, no time implications. What's the farthest field goal you would attempt? I think forty. I think I think you attempt the forty, and I'm solely basing that off of the kickoff yeah. power. Yes, uh, we we do a great job with that. I mean, getting getting the ball to the end zone in high school is is a good indicator that we have a strong leg. Yeah, Eric Rodriguez has made it clear he has a strong leg. First and ten from the thirty. Again, Wildcats have two timeouts left. Brady dropping back. Now he's rolling out. Just gonna throw that one away. Man, you've got three guys, three guys covering uh -huh. Skyler Lewis there. They've uh, they've watched film. I think. And that's yeah. I mean. With a minute and 20 seconds left in the half, I'm, I'm Van Alstine's defense. I'm probably keying in on number six. I mean, yeah. that's that's probably what I'm doing 70 yards away from the end zone. Yeah, keeping everything in front, I would think, is uh, the, the number one priority for Van Alstine right now. Play clock down to seven. Now five. Brady going to run. Depending on where they mark him, I think he's got the first down. It looked like enough to me. Are they going to mark him just a bit short maybe? Yeah, they're going to mark him a yard short at the 39. So 
So it'll be third and one. One minute, 11 seconds left in the half. Of course, it's hard to see from this far away, but I really thought he had enough. Brady rolling out again. Dumps it off to Jackson Heron. That one incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth and one from the 39. 106 left here in the half. And what do you do here? I mean, this is this is a tough spot. Uh, fourth and one. You know, you've got a minute. You want to go score. It does. I mean, it looks like they're going to go for it. Could he back up to seven and punt it? Maybe. He's going to keep it himself. And he's got there enough go. for the first down. That's just and fair cloth. <laughs> that's obviously that's a gutsy call. I mean, you don't get that. And Van Alstine is looking at at scoring. It is, yeah. And they still have all three timeouts. Yeah, uh, but obviously, you know, you trust your big guys up front. Brady does a great job of getting downhill and getting getting the necessary yards. And so I like I like the play call. Now the Wildcats going to have to go quickly here. Gets the snap off. Out towards Jackson, that one complete. He is out of bounds, and Van Alsen's done a great job of getting Brady out of the pocket. Yep, I agree. Feels like on almost every drop back, I mean, he – And I do. Brady does do a good job of yeah. making something happen outside of the pocket, but no quarterback is thinking, man, I really want a disrupted <laughs> pocket. I, I hope that they're in the backfield a lot tonight. No one, no one's thinking that. Uh, and so Van Alsen is doing a good job there. Now that was enough for the first down, and it moves him up to the 48. 37 seconds left, obviously getting out of bounds, stops the clock there. Brady dropping back again. He's going to let it fire for Jackson Harry. He's got him again, and he's got enough for another first down. That one up to about the 31. So here you would try I mean, you would try to run a play before the sticks are set so you can kind of get a free one off without calling the timeout. Man, I think the clock started, clock started a little early there, Tyler. A little bit. They a little do change did not look set to me. They do clock it with 21 seconds left. So obviously be second and 10 from the 31. And I do and you're like that. To, uh, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, well, I was going to say I do like that rather than taking the timeout because you have yeah. you have to have one timeout for the field goal unit uh -huh. uh, because now under tw you really need 25 seconds to safely run on the field goal unit. Right. You're past that, and so you need the timeout. Play action dropping back. He's got Wyatt Watson. Wyatt's going to go down at about the 12 or the 13. Are they going to use the yeah, timeout? You, you they use are. it here. You use it here. Uh, and so because now, now you can you, any play you run can be in the end zone. We can complete a pass right. in the end zone inside 30, 13 seconds. And so you keep that one timeout to run on the field goal unit, uh, and and very very well executed there by the Sulphur Springs offense. Yeah, we're seeing uh, not even a full two minute drill, but yeah. they they're doing a great job yeah. here, getting all the way up inside the the bell concrete red zone again we worked on this in college this was kind of our you know thursday before the game this this was a big run through type deal where you know because you obviously you're not running different plays but but we're getting out of bounds we're mm -hmm. you know okay i could make a couple guys miss but man i really just need to get down and get the ball back to the official and line up and run another play and so procedurally there's there's a lot of things that go into it and the silver springs offense again in that two minute drill they're doing doing a great job right and you also get so few opportunities or a few reps doing that in actual games i feel like well you never know when you're going to need it mm -hmm. you, you know it's not an every game thing uh, right and i don't I, to my knowledge we haven't had a I, two I'd minute before the drive or before the half type drive i this can't season. think of a time we've had to no. hurry up and, and clock it or anything no yeah. and so that's that's something that and, and again glad it's happening now mm -hmm. uh because in in a district ball game later in the year there might be a situation in the second half where hey yeah absolutely. we gotta go get six and we've got a minute and 10 seconds to do it with two timeouts so first and 10 from the 13 12 seconds left on the clock wildcats just the one timeout now brady looking for skyler he throws it up oh and it is man. incomplete golly nine seconds left though so you'll have a chance to try at least one more of those great great ball there by brady skyler's able to i mean he he was in a good position. Van Alstine's in a good position. That's just – that's football. That's yeah, great play. That is one of those where it felt like most people here in the stadium had an idea of where yeah. that ball was going. <laughs> yeah, and that's okay. I, you hear me say it sometimes. 
the best play yeah, is absolutely. exactly what everyone's thinking. And right there, Skyler's your guy. He's got one-on-one coverage. You throw the back shoulder to him and, and see if he can come down with it. Yeah, and I would bet more often than not he does come <laughs> down with it. I don't think there's a possibility of a play taking nine seconds here, but this is probably going to be your last mm-hmm. offensive snap. Brady having to roll? Yeah. That, that's a very smart play by Brady. It you, was. He could have rolled out and maybe made something happen, but if you don't score a touchdown there, you're not going to get three. And yeah, if so, you take literally three more seconds. <laughs> very, very, very smart play there by Brady Driver. So from the 13, this one going to be, what, a 30-yard 30 field goal? 30-yard field goal. This would cut it to a, a four-point game. And I think you're happy with three here. Uh, you started that drive oh, with less than a minute and a half, two timeouts, executed well. Uh, Brady, Brady makes a smart, smart, mature decision uh, in the red zone and get to run out the field goal unit. There is a flag. It's going to be false start. So will they get to – is there a, a, a five-second or ten-second delay? It's only, on only, a, only with a, uh, a running clock. Okay, It'll be a gotcha. ten-second runoff. You gotcha. cannot commit an offensive penalty to stop the clock. Uh, you can elect to take a timeout, or it's a ten-second runoff. Gotcha. Uh, but in this case, you know, now that does, not, not a moving clock, but it does make it a 35-yarder. Yeah, it does make the field goal tougher. Like you said, pushing that back to now a 35-yarder. Kick is up. So now we've learned. Very, very well done. Good snap, good hold, good kick. And that will bring it to a four-point game as we go to the half again. Do not go anywhere. We have a great halftime show for you brought to you by ANS Air Conditioning. Are you having problems finding comfort in your own space? Let ANS find a perfect solution for your heating and cooling needs. They've been providing affordable heating and AC repair for over 31 years. Give them a call today at 903-885-8072. Y'all don't go anywhere. Enjoy the halftime show. Enjoy the band and the blue blazes. And Ryan and I will be back for the second half. ANS Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated hometown air conditioning business. We have been serving the heating and cooling needs of Hopkins and surrounding counties for over 31 years. We work hard to provide award-winning customer service on every call. And our friendly service techs are available 24 hours a day. We offer the industry's highest rated products, servicing all brands. Whether it's new or existing, residential or commercial, ANS Air Conditioning is here to serve you. Call us today at 903-885-8072 and let us help make your home or business comfortable and more efficient. At DB Loans, we make the loan process easy. Our competitive rates and quick application process make us one of the largest in the industry. With over 30 years in the business, our team of loan experts will work with you to find the loan that fits your needs. We also offer the best furniture and appliances around with great financing and free local delivery. With low rate loans and high quality furniture, we offer a wide selection of styles and designs, plus TVs, mattresses, and much more. Just visit our showroom or give us a call. DB Loan is your local loan specialist. When you need cash, trust a hometown business. Your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Essential Business Solutions can solve your IT needs. Let Essential Business Solutions do the IT work for you. Managed IT services, disaster recovery and backup solutions, new hardware, and other IT services as needed. Set up a consultation today. Welcome to our family-owned hardware store since 1994. Here at Hooten's Hardware, we offer a wide variety of tools, materials, and supplies for all your home, business, and outdoor projects and repairs. With over 40,000 square foot of materials in stock, we're sure to have everything you need for any job. We only carry the highest quality products because your satisfaction is our top priority. Our staff is knowledgeable and experienced and happy to assist you in finding the right materials for your next project. So stop in and experience the Hooten's hardware difference today. And remember, we're more than just nuts and bolts. At Cody Drug, we believe in providing exceptional customer care and convenience. We do this by offering unique and comprehensive services unlike big chain pharmacies. With our MedSync program, our customers can schedule a day to pick up all their medications at one time. We also offer vaccines and B12 shots to keep you healthy and protected. Take advantage of our fast and reliable delivery service straight to your front door. We're a team that is focused on helping our neighbors and adding value to this community. Make an easy transfer to Cody Drug today. At Cody Drug, we're committed to earning your trust. 
Since 1927, Alliance Bank has been serving customers throughout North Texas. Our community banking roots run deep, and we are here to serve you. Welcome, my name is Keith Shirtliff, and I am the market president for Hopkins County. Here at Alliance Bank, we offer all of the products and services you would expect from a large, impersonal national bank, but with the personal service you would expect from a community bank. So give us a call. Stop by or reach out through AllianceBank.com. We look forward to serving you. At Gary's Termite and Pest Control Company, we help homeowners and business owners control bug and pest problems throughout the Mount Pleasant, Mount Vernon, Winsboro, Pittsburgh, Sulphur Springs, and the surrounding East Texas areas. Don't let pests take control of your life. Trust our reliable pest control service to eliminate unwanted guests and provide you with peace of mind. Safeguard your property and the well-being of your loved ones with our effective pest control solutions. Call us today to find out for yourself why Gary's Termite and Pest Control is your pest control company. Here at J. Hodge Chevrolet, we have the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. We are proud to offer an extensive selection of new and used vehicles. Our knowledgeable sales staff is ready to help you find the car of your dreams. We also provide a top-notch service experience with our state-of-the-art service center and our award-winning team of certified technicians. We're such big supporters of the Silver Springs Wildcats that we are even located on Wildcat Way. Find new roads to J. Hodge Chevrolet. Give us a call at 903 903- 307-2077. Don't overpay. Go CJ. Passing the competition by leaps and bounds. The team of world-class orthopedics and sports medicine specialists at Christus Mother Francis Hospital Sulphur Springs are experts at caring for bones, joints, and muscles. In addition to treatment, they also provide special programs designed to keep you in optimal shape and improve athletic performance. So whether you're a student athlete or weekend warrior, they'll keep you at the top of your game. Christus Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, taking orthopedic care a step further. My name is Bill Holden, and along with my business partner, Tommy Anderson, we own BT Medical in Sulphur Springs. In our store, you can find lift chairs, hospital beds, and wheelchairs, along with many other necessary medical equipment. We even have a respiratory therapist with a staff willing to help you with your CPAP, so you can get that healthy rest your body needs. If you can't leave the house, we offer convenient delivery and 24-hour on-call services. From all of us at BT Medical, thank you for shopping with us, and please keep your business local at 201 Linda Drive in Sulphur Springs. Remember the name, BT Medical, supplying equipment with care. Whether you're looking to shop for the right set of Michelin tires for whatever you drive, brakes, or are interested in customizing your ride with a suspension lift kit, you can rely on Discount Wheel and Tire of Sulphur Springs for accurate, knowledgeable, and friendly automotive and tire services. Since 1994, we have built a solid base of customers and established the reputation of being an automotive repair facility with service you can count on. We believe in personal customer service. We consider it an honor to serve you and our community. For reliable tire and auto repair, look no further than your local discount wheel and tire. It's in the clinic, in the water, or in the comforts of your home. East Texas Physical Therapy can provide you with an individualized treatment plan to meet all your rehab needs. Whether it's physical therapy, occupational therapy, or speech therapy, our experienced staff understands the importance of personalized care and will work with you to set and reach your goals. In business, for over 12 years, we're committed to helping you get back to living life to the fullest. Call us today to get started on your journey to healthier living. Your original hometown clinic, East Texas Physical Therapy. Treatment you need, care you deserve. Our experienced, dedicated team are your local roofing experts from repairs to complete roofing systems. With competitive prices and free consultation, Triple Crown is the choice when it comes to roofing. Triple Crown Roofing offers the highest quality craftsmanship and customer care, specializing in all commercial and residential roofing systems. We believe in personalized service and are with you every step of the roofing process. Contact Triple Crown Roofing today. Triple Crown Roofing, roofing done right. 
Welcome to Muddy Jake's, your home for delicious food and the best sports entertainment. We have something for everyone, from live bands on Saturdays, Kids Eat Free Tuesdays, Wing Wednesdays, and Happy Hour All Day on Thursdays. Come for lunch, dinner, or late night snacks. Our freshly cooked meals will make you feel right at home. Whether you're looking for a hearty burger, some tasty wings, or just a cold drink, we've got it all. With a lively atmosphere, friendly service, and great prices, Muddy Jake's is the perfect place to watch the Silver Springs Wildcat game every Friday night. Muddy Jake's, where the food is always hot and the fun never stops. Come see us at Elevate Aesthetics in Sulphur Springs, a premier med spa for all your anti-aging treatments. We offer Botox, fillers, microneedling, IV hydration, B12, and skinny shots. And if you're struggling with weight, our compounded semaglutide weight loss program is proven to help you lose weight. Make the choice today for a more confident, vibrant you. Visit us at Elevate Aesthetics in Sulphur Springs or call us at 214-205-1333. Aging is inevitable, but looking good is a choice. With weary pools, your backyard oasis will always be in pristine condition, leaving you more time to relax and enjoy. We have the knowledge and expertise to keep your pool water crystal clear and perfectly balanced so you can focus on making unforgettable memories with your loved ones. Whether it's routine maintenance, pool repairs, or equipment installations, Weary Pools has you covered. We take care of the hard work so you can simply dive in and have fun. Don't let pool maintenance become a hassle. Contact Weary Pools today and let us handle all your pool service needs. Because when it comes to your pool, only the best will do. 2020 COVID, so we both were sick in November. And uh, after we tested negative for COVID, I still didn't feel well. And I had uh, issues in my lungs and I thought, what, there is just something wrong with me. So I had 10% blood flow. And then I had to have a, a defibrillator pacemaker. Uh, well, I was just so shocked because I've never been sick in my life. So I went to Amethyst Healthcare. And so I started having nurses once a week. So they explained to me about my medications. I didn't even really understand my medications. And they're wonderful. And, and when you've never had a healthcare issue or when you're getting older and you start having to take medications, doctors are wonderful, but they don't explain everything to you. And God is good because I am now from 10% blood flow to 60%. My life now is wonderful. I'm back to normal. I love to work in my yard. I've done all my flower beds. We've been at the club now for five years. And if, it, if the sun doesn't kill it, I can grow it. And I, I have so much fun in my yard. I've got my dog, my family, my husband, my kids. And my, my life really is back to where it was before. Anyone I would recommend them to, I promise. You know I don't recommend unless I really mean it. Sulphur Springs is hiring home building team members. Join an energetic, collaborative team and play a part in opening doors to a better life for families across the country. Home building team members, starting pay is $20 an hour with opportunities to grow. We provide excellent benefits, including paid time off and volunteer time to support causes that you care about. Join our team and build your career with Clayton. Interested in becoming a part of the Clayton Sulphur Springs family? Call 903-439-0242 and apply today. Hi, I'm Josh Boatman, your local and trusted insurance agent. With a family of my own, I understand the importance of protecting the ones that matter the most. I understand that no two families need the same covers. That's why I will make sure to customize plans to fit your specific needs from auto, home, farm and ranch, commercial, and especially life insurance. Don't just take it from me, but from one of my clients who has stated, it has been the easiest insurance buying experience I've ever had. Life insurance is one of the most important coverages that you have to protect your family. If you can protect your home and auto, why not yourself for your family? Serving quality food has always been a top priority. Because chicken is at the center of our menu, we serve only real breast meat without fillers, artificial preservatives, or steroids. In our kitchens, we focus on high quality, freshly prepared ingredients to serve our customers the best we have to offer. Whether you're eating in or grabbing to go, we guarantee that signature Chick-fil-A service every time. Because it is our pleasure to give you the best experience possible. Call us today or order catering online for a Wildcat football watch party from your Sulphur Springs Chick-fil-A. 
Welcome to Sable Provisions, where we go above and beyond to create an extraordinary shopping experience for our valued customers. Our store is not your ordinary men's boutique. It's a paradise for the modern gentleman seeking style, relaxation, and enjoyment all in one place. Step inside and discover a carefully curated selection of Texas-made products and unique vintage attire that exudes charm and character. Kick back and relax in our exclusive men's lounge and take advantage of our top-notch grooming services. Our team aims to create a perfect spot for camaraderie and relaxation. So, whether you're looking to elevate your wardrobe or want to indulge in a little pampering, Sable Provisions is the place to be. Hi, I'm Erin Neal, the principal agent and owner of Hamby Insurance. I am passionate about serving the local community and the surrounding areas. My goal is to take the hassle out of buying insurance. I want to educate you on what you're buying and help you make an informed decision. Whether it's personal or commercial insurance, my team and I will be here every step of the way to make sure you are getting the satisfaction you need and the coverage you deserve. My promise to you is that we will never hard sell you insurance, use slick sales techniques, or pressure you into making a decision that you're not comfortable with. Call us today at 972 285-0381 to find the best coverage to fit your need. My commitment is to give you unparalleled service and remember, Hamby helps. Are you ready to make your dream of owning a new home a reality? Look no further than Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs. A little over an acre of land complete with rock driveway and a spacious two-car garage on a solid concrete slab. Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is offering you the chance to buy this incredible lot and pick out the perfect home. Visit Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs today and let us help you turn this beautiful lot into your very own sanctuary. Come see me and my team at Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs and experience the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us during the halftime show, which again is brought to you by ANS Air Conditioning. Y'all don't go anywhere. We are about to get to the Wildcat Band and the Blue Blazes. But first, I want to tell you about Weary Pools. Whether it's routine maintenance, pool repairs, or equipment installation, Weary Pools has you covered. They take care of the hard work so you can dive in and have fun. Call them today because when it comes to your pool, only the best will do. And also, I want to tell you about Jayhawk Chevrolet. They have the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. Their knowledgeable sales staff is ready to help you find the car of your dreams. Jay Hodge Chevrolet are even such big supporters of the Sulphur Springs Wildcats that they're located on Wildcat Way. Find new roads at Jay Hodge Chevrolet. And remember, don't overpay. Go see Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the Sulphur Springs Wildcat Band and the Blue Blazes. The Blazers would like to thank their sponsors for their lives. 
Gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us during the ANS halftime show. Your Sulphur Springs Wildcats trail 21 to 17 at the half. But we look ready for a second half. Ryan, how are we feeling? Yeah, good, Tyler. You know, that that, that first half did not end, uh, obviously, in favor of the Wildcats. You, know, you did put up three, but Van Alstine was able to make the most out of some turnovers by the Wildcats. They scored 14 points right there and, mm -hmm. and have the lead coming into the second half. Yeah, I believe three turnovers in that first half. Yeah, which two right at the end, though. Uh -huh. and, and just, you know, not not uh, typical play yeah, I was gonna uh, say by not the typical, offense. We're, we're typically yeah. pretty safe with the ball. I feel like we take care of it. We've done well, did well last year, done well early in this season. Uh, but you're, you're going to have turnovers, and, and you've got to – I mean, you just, you've got to bounce back from that. You've got to hold on to the ball. You've got to take care of it at the quarterback position. And hopefully this half, on the defensive side of the ball, we're able to create a few more of our own turnovers. Yeah, this will be a good test for you, especially having to start the you know second half trailing by four and on defense. But could get a lot of momentum back on your side with a quick three and out. I do, uh, I do think that the the two minute offense execution and, and yeah. putting three points on the board, I do think that that went farther than you might realize. Absolutely, you put it together a good drive and tons of credit to Eric Rodriguez. Not only yes. does he make the field goal, but what would have been a thirty yard field goal gets pushed back to thirty five, and he still drains it. So well, and it's like you know, right there, you're kind of inadvertently icing your kicker. You uh -huh. know, he's thinking, okay, here we go, here we go, and bam, we got to back up five and do it all over again. So nice, nice kick there. That's a good point. Eric, just a sophomore, by the way. Really? Mm -hmm. I know he said he was a soccer guy primarily. Yeah. And this is kind of his first run at football, but that's uh, that's nice to have a three-year starting kicker probably. Oh, yeah. Now that one is dropped inside the five. So he is actually saying that the knee – he's not signaling touchback. He's yeah. signaling that a knee touched the ground when he picked up the ball. Anyway, we can get a replay on that, Corey. Anyway, no, no, that's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ain't it's, no problem. I, 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 uh, I did not personally see a knee on the ground, but very close call. It is not a touchback. This ball is going to be lined up at the two yard line. Okay. Real quick, while we're waiting for that, I want to tell you about Gary's Pest Control. They help homeowners and business owners control bug and pest problems all throughout East Texas. They immediately assess and address current pest infestations and help you prevent them from happening again in the future. Give them a call today at 866-588-4279. Russ yeah, still talking this yeah, one so over. Yeah, so Faircloth, he, if, if this is rule the touchback, Faircloth has a great argument against it because – it's not a it's, it's not a touchback right. if it bounces off of him and right. goes into the end zone. That's a live football. Uh, it's got he has to have no contact with it for that to now, be. Now, obviously, he called for the fair catch on the return, but it wasn't a clean return. Did he call for a fair catch? Yes. Okay, it does, but it doesn't matter. He hit the ground. It hit the ground right. off of his hands. Uh, the problem is is uh, kind of is an inadvertent whistle. I don't know uh -huh. that there should have been a whistle on that play. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the what the call is there. Uh, but regardless, I don't think in any way, shape, or form that should be a touchback. Yeah, right now it is positioned, but on the. Yeah, it's on. I mean, it's on the. It's on the th two or three yard line. Yeah. Again, while we're waiting to. Uh, Get something official. I'll tell you about Alliance Bank. Here at Chad's Media and Front Porch News, we know the love and support that Alliance Bank has for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Stop by and see them on the square.
convenient drive through services. You can also visit AllianceBank.com for all your financial and banking needs. Give them a call at 903-885-2187. Shout out to everybody at Alliance Bank. Shout out to Jake Cadell. We got to see our favorite intern today, Addison Cadell. She stopped by and saw us. So that is a huge uh, start to the half for Sulphur Springs. Obviously now you're, you're forcing Van Alstine to operate out of their own end zone, and, and if they want to get points, they're going to have to go the length of the yeah. field. They'll have a long way to go. Okay. Okay. Ball at the two. First and ten from the two. Obviously out of the gun. They'll be fairly deep into the end zone. To give to Juarez. Juarez works his way past the line of scrimmage, and that ends up being a nice yeah. game. Good, good job. You know, right there, usually when you see – an offensive team start out of their own end zone. The first step is give give us give us some space to operate, you mm -hmm. know, because you don't quarterbacks you, you get nervous once you take a drop back oh, yeah. and, and you see the color of the end zone underneath your feet. It <laughs> makes you feel just makes you feel awkward. Uh, okay, no harm, no no yep. no harm, no foul there. Cats jump off sides, but no snap, and no penalty. Second and two, play clock at ten. Johnson keeping it himself. Going to go out at about the 25, so now you're back to the touchback. I'm not sure where, where Weston Johnson's at yards-wise, but a lot. He, he's, he's got quite a few. Yeah, he's having a great night. It seems like every time he takes off running, it's at least 10. Yeah, and I would think he's had some – what were good passes that be dropped? I yes. mean, he's no, he's 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 having a good night. Yeah, like that, that one, one right complete. there. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you'll take it if some, you're the some of these balls he's throwing have got some steam on it. They these, do. These receivers are. I mean, that's he, he's putting some some zip behind that one. But very accurate pass. If it hits the hands, you got to bring it in at receiver. Yeah, I don't know if I would love being his warm up partner or not in baseball because he's going to throw it accurately, but he's hurling it right. at you. Right. Right. It's like throwing with the guys who just kind of toss it to you. Second and ten. Johnson again, keep it to himself. Braxton Wall and Laren Vaughn each able to make some contact there, bringing them down for about third and five. You know, no Brady Carson on the field right now for Van Alstine, and I think it's probably more to do with that he's <laughs> he plays everywhere, uh -huh. uh, and so they, they're probably just giving him a rest. But it seemed like every time he had the ball in his hands, he, he could make something happen. Again, Johnson keeping. Great pursuit there by Zach Thomas. Does look like it's going to be enough for the first down, but big number zero uh, ran, ran the QB down from behind and made a nice tackle. Yeah, we're fans of Zachary Thomas over here. I like that intro. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Shout out to producer Corey for pulling that one up. First and 10 from the 37. Braxton Wall put pressure on him. Just going to have to let that one go. Braxton Wall got a great jump. and Yeah, quickly, uh, quickly disrupted the backfield there. Quarterback kind of just heaves one up and gets it out of there to avoid the sack. Yeah, and a great block there from Juarez. Otherwise, that's a – It looked like the Dallas Cowboys last weekend. <laughs> Everyone gets to the backfield. Facts. Hoping for more of that this this weekend, I guess. Oh, we're going to get it. <laughs> Second and ten. Give to Juarez. And bouncing off that first tackle and keeping the, the play alive. He's still going, right? Blow the whistle. That's a, that's a nice second down gain. I mean, that it was. Is. I'll tell you what, in high school football, man, you you uh, you can turn the three yard run you into can. an eight yard run quickly. Keep those feet moving. Uh, I say quickly, slowly. Uh, <laughs> that one was was a long drawn out. Uh, probably should have got a whistle type play. It's gonna <laughs> bring up just third and one. I just right here. I mean, the screen, the screen. 
it's tough to cover is what I'm saying, the way they yeah. stack those guys because the screen is open. You've only got one defender out here. That That's going to be tough to make a play. But it's still the way they're widening out and, and on top of each other stacked. It opens up the middle of the field and, and gives Van Alstine a, a land to run with. Yeah, and this drive that started at the two is now all the way up to the 50. If you'd started in normal position, I mean, you'd be close to the red zone by now. To give to Juarez on first down. And a great run on first down. It's going to get him up to close to the 35, right Juarez, at the 35. Uh, he, uh, he kind of looks – I mean, I know it's not big-time Division One college football or the NFL, but Juarez kind of looks like Deuce Vaughn running out there. Smaller guy, mm -hmm. but, but, but a thick kid and, and runs strong. Uh, I like that comp. Yeah, no, I think, I think that's a pretty good comp. First and ten from the 35. Van Alstein having a great drive here to start the second half. Wildcats able to bring him down quickly. Yeah, what looked like maybe a nightmare start to the half is now very quickly. I mean, you're using a lot of time. I was going to say, you're already, you're already down to eight minutes. Uh, and it's so, obviously time is not of the essence at right. this moment. But right. at some point, who the team that's behind, you, you eventually mm -hmm. not only do you have to come back, but you're – I mean, you're playing against the clock. You, you're running out of time. Yeah, if you can put drives together that take six, seven minutes. Right. Johnson drop it back. Big play Able there. to bring him Huge down. Play. Alex McCormick. Another, another Alex McCormick. Have a day. He is having himself a night. We got the replay here, and like you said, just everyone getting back there. I thought Braxton Wall was going to have another. Day Day Hall almost gets that in was, as well. That uh, was one of those. No, I've got him. No, you got him. I've got him. You got him. <laughs> that was uh, obviously McCormick on the uh, the finishing sack there, but that was that was more of a team effort. Uh huh. And here's your chance for your bend, but don't break defense. Third and nineteen. Dropping back. That one batted down by Nathan Andrews. Going to bring up fourth and 19. I think it was, think it was Dede Hall. Oh, was it? He's pretty excited. Yeah, fair enough. That would be a great play. Rolling out to the right and your D tackle is yeah. batting down a ball. That's uh, that's not what you typically see, but huge play for the Cats there. There's another aerial shot brought to you by Hudson Northcutt. Love those aerial shots. And, again, great drive there for Van Alstine as far as getting out of your end zone and, and taking off half of the third quarter. But Sulphur Springs, you know, bend, don't break. That ball gets across the 50. And now we're back on the offensive side of the ball. Oh, and the punt goes out at about the five. That's a great punt. That's it a is great a great punt. punt. Yeah, Wildcats will get the ball. 645 left here in the third before they do. Want to give a big shout-out to our friends at Cody Drug. Cody Drug provides a unique and personalized experience that big chain pharmacies just can't match. They also offer vaccines and B12 shots. Be sure to take advantage of their convenient delivery services as well. Make the easy transfer to Cody Drug today. Now it looks like we're having another discussion with the refs. While we're figuring this out, I want to tell you, at Hooten's Hardware, they offer a wide variety of tools, materials, and supplies for all your home, business, and outdoor projects and repairs. With over 40,000 square feet of materials in stock, they're sure to have everything you need for any job. They only carry the highest quality products because your satisfaction is their top priority. Hooten's Hardware, they're more than just nuts and bolts. So an unsportsmanlike at the end of the play, I guess, and that's going to bring it back half the distance to the goal. So instead of starting at the five start, about the two or the three. Not ideal uh, with the starting field position. Uh, Van Alstein certainly flipped the field <laughs> yeah. about a, almost 100 yards. Uh, but, you know, again, just like Van Alstein, Silver Springs is looking to get one first down here and go from there. Yeah. 
And at least it's still just first and ten. I didn't know if the penalty. No, nah, it was before. Yeah. yeah, before any type of offensive possession. So first and ten here, just move back the starting spot. A solid run there from Brady. Just Again, to, like the play call, same similar to what Van Alstine did. They're just they're giving Brady a couple yards to work with. Uh, <laughs> haven't played quarterback when you snap it into the end zone and you take a drop, and now I'm three or four yards back in my own uh -huh. end zone. You, you get nervous. So second and seven from the six. Again, a Brady keep. Ooh, nice little hurdle there. I don't know where they're going to mark him. This side looks like it's enough. That side looks like it's short. They're, they're saying it's enough. There you, there you go. go. See on the replay here. Good block. Close. <laughs> Just that, la that trail leg. Got to get that hurdle trail leg over the end of that helmet. Again, big thank you to uh, Hudson Northcutt for our aero shots. Brought to you by Chad's Media. First and ten to give to Rose Luke. Rose Luke for a couple. Shot by Wilson. Second half. And this third quarter is flying by. 5.05 left. No question. Yeah, no question. Second and nine, Brady dropping back, having to roll out now. He's got Wyatt Watson, and Wyatt Watson's got the, the first last two down. weeks, Wyatt Watson has been as sure of a thing as you're going to get at the receiver position. Not Brady's best ball here, obviously rolling to the right. That's a tough play to make. Throws it a little low. Wyatt Watson is able to make the catch. Yeah, he has and just been, six. been huge these last couple of weeks. Obviously, he was last he's week's kind of this way year's, Bible Church player of the game. He's kind of this year's uh, first down. It seems like every time he touches the ball, it's first down. Uh -huh. It's like Matt Mitchell Matt last Mitchell. year. They yeah. <laughs> give to Rose Luke. Rose Luke being taken down with 420 left here in the third. And I would think his average is still safe, safely above four, four and a half. Oh, without question. He's had a couple, you know. I mean, he was very ten, much on track to have a 100-yard game tonight. I couple, don't know. A couple 10-plus yard runs, but it still seems like he's, he's a sure five or six every yeah. time he touches the ball. Second and three from the 34. Wouldn't be surprised to see some play action here. No. A give. It's going to be third, and it looks like short. Yeah, maybe just third and one, third and a very long one, something like that. Are bringing two tight ends onto the field. I wouldn't say it's Brady Bull package, but a little bit bigger set. Yeah, with Rose Luke back there instead of Cam, do you think maybe a read option potentially? Could or? be, yeah, just read that outside edge and, and let Brady make a move on it. He is keeping. And it's it's gonna close. Be, it is again this close. this side. This side it looks like it. That side it doesn't. They're gonna Boarding say it the is. First down. There, you, there go. you go. Obviously Brady's a good sized kid, and so he, he you know falling forward, it, it goes a long way in those close yardage situations. Right. Tyler, we've had two. Offensive possessions. Yeah, and we're almost done with this quarter. quarter. Yeah. And, and this quarter is winded down. Lots of running the ball. Lots of you know not getting any penalties. Very very uh, clock efficient play. Yeah, and there's another wow. give and a great run on first down by Rose Luke. Did we see the pancake there by Aiden McCarroll? I did not. Goodness gracious. I missed it. I mean, just absolute domination <laughs> really? there. Oh, yeah. I'll have to go back and time. watch that one. 
Anytime you can get offensive lineman love. I think it was Aiden. I, I can't. Or was it Brandon Vasquez? I said I can't right guard. Oh, yeah. Brandon Vasquez. Excuse me. Great block. Brady avoiding pressure. He's gonna let it fly. To Skylar Lewis. He's got it. All the way inside the ten. What a play! Yeah, Brady rolling out to the right, just heaves it up. I mean, that's that's a big time arm. You've got three, three defenders guys around there. Skyler Lewis. Still not enough. And there's the big play we've been looking for out of Skyler Lewis tonight. Brady across his body, just let yeah. that one fly. It's a tough throw to make. That was uh, very Patrick Mahomes. Uh, yeah. Tyreek's down there somewhere <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> First and goal. Great, great offensive play there. From the seven. You're now, smelling blood here if you're Sulphur Springs. you you got to get seven on this possession. Yeah, it looks like Schuyler and Wyatt to his left. Jackson so This to looks his like right. Brady Keeper, if I've it ever is. seen it. It is. <laughs> it's going to be taken down inside the five. That's a good eye on your call. Yeah. Second to go from yeah, the Brent, three. Brandon Vasquez on the on the block in the night earlier. I got the name wrong, but nice. I would uh, I'd follow that guy right now. Definitely a similar formation. Again, a keep. There is a flag on the play, though. Trying to see what this flag is. It's pre-snap. It's either offsides or illegal formation. Okay. Yeah, so going to be half the distance and just, you know, redo second down. That definitely works out for the Which Wildcats. Which is great because yeah. <laughs> Brady, Brady had some missed footing and, and fell behind the line. So now about second and two. Man, I'm running, like you said earlier, read option here. Let Brady make a decision. Keeping it in himself. There Brady. We go. Easy touchdown. Walks in. And here with 34 seconds left in the third, the Wildcats will once again have the lead. A chance to make it a field goal game. Ryan, that's got to be on the short list of fastest quarters we've seen in our broadcasting two, two careers. Possessions. <laughs> two possessions. Yeah, Tyler, he missed that one. There is a flag on the play, though. Could get lucky. That was wide left. Let's see what the flag was, but like you said, he did miss wide left. And that could end up being big. It's a two-point game at the moment. Obviously it needed that to make it three. It certainly adds. Add some suspense, some drama. Well, it just adds some. There, there's some sort of, of decision we're going to have to make later, and they're actually going to bring the kickoff team or the kick okay. point team back on. Going to get another stab at it. Well, that was lucky. I bet he didn't miss it twice. Now, was that an announcer's curse? I hope and he's not. He's going to miss it, probably. I hope not. Uh, but I like her chances. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, Tyler, 30, 34 seconds left in this third quarter. It has been one of the faster uh, quarters of football that, that we've seen in our broadcasting career. Uh, but, yeah, so Sulphur Springs is going to get another opportunity to put one through the uprights. Good snap, good hold. And good enough kick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the announcer's curse was coming into play, but we're good. I was a little nervous. I so was that, a little nervous. That does make it a three-point lead, 24 to 21, with just 34 seconds left here in the third quarter. Ryan, your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. 
Let Essential Business Solutions do all the IT work for you. For managed IT services, disaster recovery, and backup solutions, new hardware and other IT services as needed. Give them a call at 903-335-7581. Essential Business Solutions, they make technology accessible. So Van Alstine will get to start a second possession here in the third quarter. But Both of those teams also had to go essentially the distance of the field. Oh, no question. I mean, you, you're 98 they, drives. Are, I, I mean, believe they both started at the two-yard line. Yeah, I think that's correct. And that uh, Wildcat student section is getting fired up over there. That one will be a fair catch. So no, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you. No theatrics I, I, on that one. I think uh, I think there was a inadvertent whistle on, I, the, I, on, on the one I last think he may time have been where right. yeah. he shouldn't have blown the whistle. He should have just played it out. But since they did blow the whistle, in that scenario, you fair catch. But if you don't return it cleanly, you would just have to pick it up, and then it would become a live right. normal return, right? Uh, yes. Because inside the new rule is inside, inside of the twenty. If you fair catch or inside the twenty-five, if you fair catch, it comes out to the twenty-five. Yeah. But if it hits the ground off your hands, I think the fair catch is negated. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, kind of a weird deal there. Weird deal. But starting this one from the twenty-five. Thirty-four seconds left in the quarter. Wildcats now up twenty-four, twenty-one. Johnson dropping back. He's going to take off and run. And again, oh, that's Nathan Andrews. I just saw the four. Yeah, I thought great, it was 24. Great effort there by the quarterback because that, that very quickly was about to be a loss of five for a big sack at Sulphur Springs, and he turned it into a six-yard gain. Now we'll see if they decide to get another playoff. They don't seem to be in that big of a hurry. And now that is going to do it for the third quarter. So we'll go into the final frame of action. Your Wildcats will lead 24 to 21 and again one more time i want to give a big thank you to hudson north cut our part 107a licensed drone pilot hudson north cut we also want to thank him for filing all the necessary paperwork with the faa to be able to bring us these magnificent aerial shots tonight brought to you by chad's media ryan at db loans they make the loan process easy their competitive rates and quick application process make them one of the largest in the industry with over 30 years in the business, their team of loan experts will work with you to find the loan that fits your needs. They also offer the best furniture and appliances around with great financing and local delivery. Just visit their showroom or give them a call. DMB Loans is your local loan specialist. When you need cash, trust a hometown business. All right, 12 minutes left to play. Wildcats have a three-point lead. What are the vibes like, Ryan? I mean, obviously, you know, you're you're up this half. You're, you're up 7-0 this half. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean... As far as what you can control, that's about it. Uh, obviously, defense is looking to get an early stop in this fourth quarter. I don't think that either side went into halftime thinking, okay, we're only going to have one possession in the third quarter. I don't, I don't think that was <laughs> in the game plan. True. Uh, but time is certainly of the essence now. Uh, Van Alstine is down three, and so they got to look at that. We'll see how this drive ends up. But – with the way both teams are running the ball tonight, it's going to be another quick quarter. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get the ball, could be the last time you get the ball at the rate they're going. So it'll be second and three from the 32. To give to Juarez. And the Wildcats defense does a good job of bringing him down. It's going to be third and two. That's short, yep. Alex McCormick is on every single play. I agree. Very, very, very good night on the defense side of the ball for Alex McCormick. I think probably a, a front runner right now for uh, the defensive player uh, of the game. I would say that, that is incredibly accurate. Third and two. Johnson keeping himself. Dede Hall was able no to get idea. a hand on him, but <laughs> – no idea how that ball didn't come out. Dede Hall had nothing but the ball there. And, uh -huh. and QB for Van Alstine is able to hang on to it. And Ryan. Okay, now they're telling him to move the chains. I thought they were calling Ooh, that, that was short. Close. Yeah, Look at Dede that. Hall. He's got both hands on the ball. <laughs> wow. Oh, you can see That's it on I'm the saying? replay. I, I can't. Uh, Golly. I can't believe that I don't ball know how didn't that come didn't out. come yeah. out. 
That would have been game changing. It would uh, have turnover been. right there. So it's a new set of downs, first and ten from it's the game 35. Inches, man, because that it now is. it's first down for Van Alstine. Johnson lets it fly. No flags, incomplete. Boy, that was uh, that was as Doug Flutie. It was. Uh, we fake the chest pass to the running back. There, there's a there's a free runner on defense. <laughs> he swim moves over him with the ball in his right hand and delivers a, a 40 yard strike down the field that they're not able to complete. But that was uh, he's pretty nifty back there. Heck, is an athlete. Yeah, I, I'm impressed. Weston Johnson having a night. Doug Flutie, did you like that reference? I did like that, and uh, it was spot on. Yep, yep. That was very Doug Flutie-esque. <laughs> People listening are like, how old are these yeah, guys? Yeah, what? <laughs> who, who is this? Ryan, we're seeing – oh, never mind. Okay. I just going to do that two, two back like to the right formation. Like Flag on the play. Oh, it's going to delay a game. game. Nope. No? Timeout. Okay. First time out of the half. Ten minutes and 56 seconds left here in the fourth. While we've got a second, I want to tell you about our good friend Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty. When you work with Katie, you get more than just a realtor. You get a trusted partner who is active in the community and cares about you and your family's future. So if you're looking for a realtor who is passionate about finding you and your family the perfect home, be sure to call her at 903-243-2304. Ten fifty-six left. Second and ten from the thirty-five. It feels like a great time for Truth Holmes and company mm -hmm. to get in the backfield and make a big second down play here. Ryan looking into his crystal ball over there. <laughs> Johnson keeps. The ball is out. I mean, Tyler. I think we've got it. I think so. If it is, talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta be careful what I say, Tyler. You do. Your words are way too powerful. Huge it is the Wildcats turnover. ball. That's big time, baby. Zach Thomas. Zach Thomas what does it again. Pumping. And now is the time to dance. I love it. Could not come at a bigger time for the Silver Springs defense. Just he asked the defensive line to make a play. <laughs> I needed it. Give me that ball. Looking at the replay here. Yeah, I can't tell if Zach a, Thomas is the one that punched it out or Laren Vaughn may have also been in on that. I couldn't. It's hard to sell from that angle, but either way, the Wildcats defense forces a turnover, and now the offense is going to get it at the 38-yard line. I think I think Zach Thomas. I think from, so. From the replay, I'm, I'm giving him the forced fumble. Huge play by the Cats defense. So now Brady dropping back. Looking for Schuyler. Run! Schuyler said, honey, put dinner on the stove. I'm coming to the house. 38-yard touchdown. A forced fumble followed by a 38-yard touchdown pass. And just like that, your Wildcats are up by two scores. Tyler, that is, uh, you want to talk about making the most of a turnover. Yes. You do it in one play. Let's get that offense back on the field for Van Alstein. See if we can run it back. But Tyler, that's just how you draw it up. Skyler Lewis, uh, I wouldn't let him get I wouldn't let him get past me if I'm on defense. And they've done a very good job of trying not to tonight. The kick is up and good. That was touchdown number five on the season for Skylar Lewis and touchdown number 15 on the season for Brady Driver. Just a perfectly placed ball and, and obviously, you know, a lot of trust in, in Skylar Lewis, that connection there. And it's a deep ball connection that we haven't really found yeah. a lot this year. That's true. Uh, but that, that looked like playoff form football. Brady lays it out there 
throws it for where Skylar Lewis can just run under it, and that, that's an easy touchdown. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. That's just how you draw it up. Again, I mean, you had, what was it, a three- or four-point lead, but Van Alsteen's driving, and then two plays later, it's a two possession not only game. do you have the ball, you've scored already. That's, uh, that's, the, best two ge- that's the best two plays <laughs> we've had all season, it is. I-, I would say. That's the best two two-play stretch we've had thus, thus far. 100%. I don't think it get better, actually. It, it can't and really get better than defense that. Turnover on defense and a 38-yard touchdown. That's pretty good. Kick from Rodriguez. This one's going to be returned from the five. And a great job to get him down at the 15. Grayson Hardy, Laren Vaughn, McCormick all in on the tackle. So they'll have 85 yards to go and 10.27 to do so. Real quick, Ryan, I want to tell you about our good friends at Easley's Liquid Fertilizer and Custom Pasture Spraying. They are family-owned and operated. They provide year-round custom agriculture spraying services of farms, ranches, and acreages. Owned by Rodney Easley, they are huge supporters of the Wildcats, including Trent Easley, one of the coaches for your Wildcats. As an authorized dealer for Monty's Plant and Soil Products, they can provide everything your crops and soil need. Their goal is to help farmers be more successful. Give Rodney a call at 214-837-2206. First and 10 from the 15, it's a pass. It is complete. And he's all the way up to the 31 for a first down. Ron, I think we've got a player on the field for Van Alstine. With 10-19 left here in this quarter, you now got a 10-point lead. You know, we kept talking about how at some point you are now working against the clock. Now if your server rings, the clock is is on your side. The clock is on your side. Van Alstine, and and for a team that that really is banking on time of possession and, and, and moving the ball methodically rather than, you know, big chunk plays, Mm -hmm. it's really not where you want to be down two possessions. You at least least have to not only only get the ball twice, but you have to score twice uh, being down 10. Now, I will say Weston Johnson's done a very good job tonight, um, especially at keeping plays alive. Absolutely. And I think we've seen with his arm, I mean, they they can make a big play happen at any time, but like you said, their general preferred method of offense does take time. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler, a couple of uh, district scores for you. We've got Farmersville over Community, who we're going to see in a couple of weeks. They're up 35-21 in the fourth quarter. Van has a 28-27 lead over Paris. And Anna Salina, game of the night, headed to the fourth quarter, 23-23. Oh, That's a barn burner. That is. You know, they played twice last year, once in the regular season mm-hmm. and once in the playoffs. Uh, so definitely interested to see how that one ends up. Yeah, you know, you had mentioned earlier in the night, if all goes according to plan for both of those teams, it would come down to Anna and Silver Springs, final game of the year for the district championship. And uh, I think Anna, by pretty much anyone's calculations, you know, one of the favorites to make a deep run this year. I think so. They've got a talented team. Curious to uh, keep getting updates on that one throughout the course of the night. Again, I want to thank every single one of y'all for hanging out with us on this Friday night. We'll be back next Friday night. Obviously, uh, after a couple home games, Wildcats will hit the road again. We'll go to Liberty Isle. So, for anyone that can't make the drive to that one, hopefully you'll tune in with us here on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. And also find us again on Tuesday night where we will be doing the Sulphur Springs Lady Cats volleyball game. Very excited for that one. Lady Cats have been hot lately. I believe had a two-game win streak going into tonight. And obviously we've been here, so we haven't gotten a, an official update. But uh, the last I'd heard, they were up two sets to none against Mount Vernon tonight. So potentially a three-game winning streak going into Tuesday night's game. First and 10 from the 32. Johnson passes. That one complete. Up. All the way to the 45 before Boy, finally being taken down. Uh, a huge chunk of their offense uh-huh. tonight has been uh, screens. 
<laughs> yeah. They, they've made the most of a uh, three or four yard completion. And just as we're saying that they're not a big chunk play <laughs> team, they, they – I mean, these, <laughs> I love what you mentioned earlier, what they do schematically. There we go. There's Day Day Hall. I don't know if I should say something about the D-line just yet. I don't know <laughs> if I should deploy – the crystal ball. I don't want to get greedy. Right. You don't want to get greedy. You don't want to get greedy. You lose your powers if you just start, you yeah. know, blurting stuff out every play. You got to use it sparingly. You got to use it when you're really feeling it. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to lose credibility if I just use it too much. So I will say right now <laughs> is the most credibility you could yeah. ever have. <laughs> Second to 10. Another give. Alex McCormick, Alex McCormick once again making a play. 20th tackle tonight. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but it seems like it. Yeah, he's been all over the place. Making a strong case for the defensive player of the night. Third and six, 9.03 left. Got three to his left. Dropping back. Got a man open. Got it complete. Oh yeah. Ooh. I I, uh, <laughs> I did not see that going oh, well. Hard you hit for Got to be homes. careful running back in there. Yeah, that's something that you've mentioned a lot. Anytime you're cutting oh, back, you, you're yeah. you're asking for an incredible collision there because you can't see it, and that defensive line is thinking, okay, come here. <laughs> Truth <laughs> only. Yeah. A huge hit. I, always, I think about Brandon Cooks uh, in the Super Bowl years ago. He, he got knocked out with a concussion uh, on that same same type deal, cutting back in. There's Juarez. Truth Holmes in on the tackle again. This isn't necessarily bad for the Wildcats, though. I, I, we keep bringing up the clock, but being up two possessions, obviously you don't want to give up points here, but if in the process it takes five, six, seven uh -huh. minutes – well, then, I mean, you're, you're going to run out of time when Van Alstine's in. Yeah. Then it becomes just clock management. Yep. yep. It, you know, it turns into, okay, Summer Springs isn't looking for points. They're looking for two first downs. Mm -hmm. Second and eight. Watch Four the double pass. Motion. It is complete. I said that because he kind of bowed. Yeah. He bowed back. Pretty far. Now there is a late flag, but yeah, that was a good eye on your part. He, he, he bowed did, uh -huh. pretty far, uh, but that would have been a fun play to yeah. see. Yeah, well, and I just I'm guessing that Juarez, he, he seems like a good athlete. I, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking that he can toss one out there. We've seen him run, we've seen him catch, we've seen him block. I guess throws the only thing we haven't seen him do yet. I don't know what this penalty's on. It's really in a position that could be offense or defense. Now we are moving towards the, the end zone. Be on the defense. Or as camera woman Chloe Copa calls it, touchdown place. <laughs> so it was already going to be first and ten. Now is it going to be first and goal or first and ten? Still, still first and yeah, ten. Okay. Still first and ten. From the 11. Johnson dropping back. Incomplete. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I thought both sides had equal equal chance at that one. Yeah, looking at the replay here, and, of course, it's very hard for you and I to see this far from the press box, but that's uh, just a 50-50 jump ball. That's really one of the fir – maybe the first or second just dangerous pass uh -huh. that I've seen Van Alstine's quarterback throw tonight. Not not his best ball. Now, based on the way it looked like he was getting protection-wise throwing off his back foot, right. I thought it was going to be a screen pass. right. Second and 10, 7.34 left. Looking to his left. He gets it off, and it is complete. It's going to bring third and goal from about the five. So cutting it in half. Obviously cutting it in half there. I, I'm surprised they're not just letting A work out of the pocket and, uh -huh. and maybe throw it. But as soon as that, I don't like that, I'm just tucking it and run. He's I run well tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see that no. on this play. Because you're getting two chances at this regardless. Are you? You could kick it. You could kick it. You could kick Down it and still 10. make it a one-possession game. I, I agree with you. They, they will go for it. Johnson is going to keep it. Trying to get in there. I think he's going to get in. Yep. And he is. He is going to get in. 
Touchdown, Van Alstine with just under seven minutes left. Going to bring the PAT unit. So good drive by Van Alstine. Uh, took, took some time off the board. Uh, cut this to probably a three-point game. Uh, but it's going to boil down to the Van Alstein defense is going to have to stop Sulphur Springs uh -huh. and, and doing it doing it in an amount of time that gives our offense a chance. That's what that's what it boils down to. Play clock down to two. You got to take the penalty. Yeah, I think they're using a timeout, Ryan. They are. Oh, they're using man. a timeout. I. Uh... And if you're Van Alstein, it's definitely not <laughs> how you want to use. I believe. I'll be honest. I, I don't I don't particularly love that. It's you know it, it turns a turns a ball on the two for an extra point to a ball on the seven. I think their kicker can manage that. But you've you've now cost it. You've you've taken a timeout that yeah obviously in the position we're now, in. Now am I mistaken or had they already used one? The, the scoreboard here is showing two timeouts left. So maybe I'm misremembering. I think maybe that was the first half okay. that they took one. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know that I would use yeah, it there I, because. Down three, Silver Springs is going to get the ball. They're driving, get a couple first downs. We're going to need those timeouts. Like you said, I mean, how much of a difference is there on a five-yard PAT? I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not you know, right. positive it's on not, the range yeah. of the kicker. But okay, so it is just one timeout left. Man. Yeah. That, 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 could, that could come back to bottom. Now we will see the PAT. I mean, I think and it's taking good. that from the seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But either way, it's going to be a three-point game now with six minutes, 57 seconds left in this one. Tyler, a couple finals. Uh, Van ends up beating Paris 28-27. 28-27, yep. wow. Yeah, LE gets their first win of the season. I think that's correct. 36-14 uh, to 14 over Atlanta. Okay. That's, that's our next week's opponent. Yeah, that one again at Ellie. So for anyone that can't make that drive, tune back in with us right here. Feels like it's been forever since we've been on the road. It does. So we actually, so we go road next week and then we're off. Yep. And then road again. Mm -hmm. Do you know when the next time Wildcats are at home again, Maybe my favorite day of the entire year, a Friday the 13th. Oh, okay. In October. Okay. In October, that's, Friday the 13th. That's, that's, uh, that's as halloween -y as it gets. It's got, yeah. it's got me written all oh, over. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited Mr., for that one. You're Mr. Horror Movie. Uh -huh, I'm excited for that. So, Ryan, we have to have the cliche conversation. But still 6.57 on the clock. So yep. are you still just running your normal uh, you, offense? You, got to, you just got to play football. Yeah. You, you got to play football. You're looking for points. Uh, if you get into clock management with 6 minutes and 57 seconds, you're going to make a mistake. Skyler Lewis is going to be the one to field this. Has it at about the 10. Trying to make his way to the outside. Just looking for room to do something. We'll say he took a ton of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First, first – uh, Nine squib kick they had of the night. True, yep. and it goes to the hands of Skyler yeah, Lewis. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably rethink that one. I understand why they were <laughs> squib kicking on that. Obviously, drive of the night here. I mean, this is you can, yeah, essentially put this one away. Yeah. Uh, I think if you go get seven, you're you're really in a good position to win this ball game, especially. But it would probably less, take some time. Anything less than seven, Van Alstine has got a chance. Yes. Uh, but but Silver Spring, as you asked, you just run your offense. Run run what we're going to run. Now feel free to take your time doing so. But Absolutely. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying sprint to the line. <laughs> uh, but as far as play calling goes, I, I would just run run your normal stuff. That's a give to Rose Luke on first down. There it is. Great run on first down from Rose Luke. Yeah, big, big, uh, big Jeff Stevenson leading the way there. Yeah, he did a good job waiting for his block and everything, yep. and then finally he said, okay, I just see my lane. Boom. I'm going make, for make it. Make a move. This is going to be a gain of 17, I believe. He's got to be he, – he's 75 yards or so, At least, I, yeah. I would think. I would think so. Yeah, Count Tyler, exactly what you were saying. You don't have to rush to the line. We're, we're letting this play clock uh -huh. get down to under 10. 
Uh, and especially, I mean, first downs are first downs are the key here. You you get three more chances to, to waste time. Another give to Rose Luke. I think they just lined it up and ran the exact same play because that was so. that was Jeff Stevenson out in front, ball to Rose Luke heading to the right side of the field. I think it's a gain of about six, which is perfect. Now let's take you know twenty more seconds off uh -huh. and run the same play. Whatever you know. Yeah, gain of five, second and five. So you're looking at 22 or so yards on those last two runs combined, or alone, rather. Yeah, I wish we had a way to keep up with, like, live right, updated stats. Right. Hey, maybe you're three. Maybe, we, maybe. We, can, we can hire a stat guy. If you're interested in being the stat guy. Another give to Rose Luke. Good run, and I think that's going to be enough for the first down. I'm positive that was the same play. You had, you had Jeff Stevenson out, out and about, but Rose Luke cut it up and was able to get the first down. If it ain't broke. Up past the 50, up to the 48. We do have a shoe off the field. Also, Rose Luke will have to come <laughs> off for yeah. at least one play, bring in Cam Jefferson. Could not be a better drive so far. I mean, you're two first downs. The clock is running. You, you've taken off two whole minutes mm -hmm. at this point. Obviously in Van Alstein territory now. Brady dropping back to pass. Looking for Skylar Lewis down the sideline. Just incomplete. Well, that was going to be a tough throw and catch it was. on the sideline, but they, they nearly came up with it. And I'm okay with that. Obviously, it stops the clock, but I, I, you know, I just got done saying run your offense. If that's right. if that's what we need to do, the the biggest emphasis here is getting seven points. Yeah, and especially you've had some so much success running. I think Van Alstine very much expecting a run. Yep. Yeah. Don't mind that one bit. Well, the clock is is. I'm not gonna say. Okay, ineligible receiver. So they actually called it on number nine, which yep. you might ask, how can a receiver be an ineligible receiver downfield? I don't remember what the I don't remember what the formation was, but he must have been covered up. You can't have two. You can't have a guy on the outside on the line of scrimmage, a guy on the inside on the line of scrimmage, and the inside guy, he's ineligible. Uh, and so I think I think that was the call there. Now that does bring it back to a first and 20. Yep. Again, for, uh, offensive penalties are expensive. Yeah. But we give to Rose Luke. And another flag on the play. Unfortunately, he got all say? those yards. What I was going to say is what it at least does, though, instead of being second and 10, I know first and 20 might not be as good as second and 10. You get three more plays. You get three more plays yeah. is what I was going to yep. say, yeah. Yep, that might not be a bad deal. Might not be a bad deal. See what the flag is here. It is not thrown in the uh, in a spot that the going to be good for the Cats. Replaying first down again, though. So I guess okay. it's going to be first and we'll see. Now – to to play devil's advocate of what you're saying, yes, you do get three plays, uh -huh. but you're probably only getting three plays. Yes, that really, is very really, true. Very low chance that we can. Especially now, you're looking uh, at first and thirty. First, first and thirty-five should be first and thirty. They called holding. Okay. Yes. First uh, so and, first and thirty. First and thirty from the thirty-two. Yes, I don't want to say it, but but you convert this. It's almost. I mean, that's that's seems like too much for Van Alstine to overcome. You've got him at first and thirty. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> First and 30. Rose Luke in motion. Pass out to Skylar Lewis. Skylar has it. Ooh. And he's going to get brought down with 420 left. He's still going. The ball's out. Oh, Tyler. Waiting to see the call. I mean, we certainly saw the ball come out. We yes. certainly saw... Van Alstine recover. I can't see where we are on the sidelines, but Van Alstine. Wow. Very much seems. I mean, to think Tyler. At some it. point, we we've got to blow the whistle. Right. I mean, he, he's got ten guys on him. He, he's just. I mean, they're dragging him along. Skyler's not really trying to make a move. 
I'm not saying he shouldn't hold on to the ball, but I am saying at some point we, we've got to yeah. blow the whistle. We talk about that a lot. But that, I mean, that's a huge play, Tyler. Oh, we talk about it multiple times a game, every single game, but it's going to be Van Alstein ball. Well, this just got interesting. Yes, it this did. Got, I, they, they, they have 45 yards to go. They have four minutes and 16 seconds to do so, and they only trail by three. Just need a field goal to tie and send this one to overtime. A touchdown gives them the lead. Alex McCormick wrapping him up quickly. If there's ever been a time for the Wildcat defense to. Man. I'm frustrated about the turnover. I don't, I don't, again, you always got to hold on to the ball. I, I, we know that. But in that specific instance, I, I think that play is long. I, I mean, I already announced it dead. Yeah. yeah. Golly. Johnston dropping back. Now he's rolling out. Pass incomplete. So to bring up third and ten or third and nine. I guess it's four down territory. I don't I don't yeah. I wouldn't punt the ball back to Sulphur Springs. Yeah, especially with just one timeout. Yeah, now. I don't think you can. Yeah, I would I would think so as well. High school is just so different. You you've got so much longer to go to even think about attempting a field goal. Oh you yeah, know, it's you, just, you got we, they got to get three more first downs almost <laughs> before we can think for about sure, taking one. For sure, two of them. Yeah. And then if you've gotten that far, you're probably, you know, third and nine. You've got them on an island down here. Wildcats think they've gotten a false start. So now you've got third and 13, maybe 14. Student section informing them that they can't do that. That's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I think yeah, they're right. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, third and 14. And that brings it back to the 50. Johnson rolling out. Looking deep. It is complete. He is going to be short of the marker. By so two yards, it looks like. Two. Yep. Great throw and catch there. Great throw and catch. Stops the clock at 3.30. Now you obviously go for it. Yeah. A little read option or something like that maybe. Yeah, there's no way I'm putting the ball in the air if I'm Van Alstine. The way, the way they've run the ball from short yardage, I, I'm putting it in, in one of my boys' hands, and that's, that's what we're running with. Johnson gives to Juarez. Oh, that's short. Right, I think he's short. That's short. Huge stop by the Wildcat defense. Turnover on Huge. downs from wow. the Wildcat defense. Day Day Hall and company come up huge there. And just like we said, you know, yeah. they, they're going to run the ball. Silver Springs knows they're going to run the ball. Look who's on the play again, Alex McCormick. Day yeah, Day Alex Hall, McCormick Larry and Day Day Hall. Hall. And, and, you know, an underrated thing on that play, Braxton Wall, he did a good job of making the quarterback feel like I've got to give it. Good call. Uh, because I'm sure he's thinking, man, fourth and two, give me the rock. Uh -huh. I want to run this. But Braxton Wall, he's right there. i got to give this. Yep. Dede Hall, eight, McCormick, they, big play, big play. Huge from the Wildcat defense. Earlier on the Zach Thomas one, you had mentioned Dede Hall and company. Dede Hall and company on that one. <laughs> yeah. Brady keeping it himself. Stay in bounds. Yep, good job. An amazing job yep. of staying in bounds <laughs> yep. there. Just take a seat. <laughs> Quite literally, so let me yep. just sit down. I was going to say, run it, run it out to the outside like that. You want to tell your, your boys, hey, just fall down. Uh -huh. Just just take the take the loss or, you know, don't get as many yards. It's more important to just fall down. Great situational awareness there from Brady Driver. This is where those timeouts come come yes. huge. I mean, 100%. We, you know, if I'm Van Alstine, we need the timeouts. Yeah. And as now we, we only have one. We can't even think about calling one right now. Right, especially after a gain of five. Yeah, no, there's nothing we can do. Second and five from the 42, 242 left. Brady keeping himself again. He's going to get brought down after a gain of just one or two maybe. And now Man, Van Alstine what, is going to use that timeout. What seemed like 
and almost uh -huh. just gut-wrenching occurrence. I'm not even going to call it a mistake, but a gut-wrenching turnover that, man, we've given Van Alstine this great field position to go in and take the lead. Silver Springs defense comes up massive, and we're right back where we were. Yeah. With less time. With less time, yeah. Really, all, all is well. Yeah. All third, is well. It's going to be third and two. Two and a half minutes left. You have the ball at the 45. I'll give you an update. Anna and Salina with six minutes to play. The Coyotes of Anna have a 30 to 23 lead. 30 to 23 it's coming lead. Coming down to it. With six and a half minutes left, you said? Six minutes, yep. Six minutes left. Anna, I believe, currently ranked number two in the state. I think Salina number three. It's it's a wow. top five matchup, yeah, whatever that's a big it is. One. Yeah. That's a big one. I would definitely say the uh, the winner of that game of the week in very the well state might of Texas. be number one after yep. this. Yep, very well could be. So that was the final timeout of the night from Van Alstein. <coughs> and, I mean, now that is the time to use it. It's third and two if you can get a stop here, if you're them, you know. A wildcat first down could about put the game away. Brady to the outside. He's got it. Oh, they're And they're saying down. he's down. So Brady gets north, able to pick up the first down. Oh, he's down. Ground, yep. ground cannot cause the fumble. Yeah, and they so are running right, the clock right, there, first down. Right call. Boy, that's going to make it tough with no timeouts. Uh huh. And when you only have one timeout, they call it on third or before third, obviously. You're basically, we, we got to have a stop here or it's things are looking bleak. Yeah, and I think the Wildcats might be getting ready Cats, to. Yeah, I don't use think you can take a. Now Brady gets the snap off, gives it to Rose Luke. Yeah, the only, you, you just can't fumble here. That's Great. really all there is to it. Great run on first down. If you can get one more first yeah, down, you, you can go ahead and start uh, taking a knee. You can't just yet. No, I it's, think. A, it's It's, it's about over because, yeah. really, you're, you're going to have about a 10-second difference on fourth down. If all else fails, you could just snap it to Brady, him hold it for, you know, five, six, seven seconds and fall down, and that would be it. It will be close. Second and four. Now it's over. There you go. Brady go. gets the first down. No math needed. I can assure no you more that, math that needed. This, one is, this one is over. The Wildcats can go ahead and put this one away. Ryan, we, we got to start thinking about our uh, Way Bible Church players of the game. Tyler, I uh, I think it's first defensive one of the season. I think so as well. I, I think you got to go Alex McCormick. Sure, just off the sure Was amount of – how many times have we said the kid's name tonight? Was all over the place tonight. Had an amazing game. H hands I agree. Down, I think it's Alex McCormick. Yeah, hands down, uh, it, it's got to be Alex McCormick. He is. Again, big thank you to the Way Bible Church. He is your Way Bible Church player of the game, the first defensive one of the season. And for the third time this year, Ryan, your Sauber Springs Wildcats win by a final score of 31-28. to 28. Any final thoughts before we get out of here? Tyler, very impressed with Van Alstine tonight. Uh, I thought it was a hard-fought game. Sulphur Springs did what they had to do. Uh, but Van Alstine certainly came on the road, traveled well, gave Sulphur Springs a great test. And this was an awesome pre-district game. I mean, 31-28. Uh, you need those if you're Sulphur Springs. Looked great last week, looked really good tonight, and obviously you're hoping that this momentum carries over into LE next week. I agree. Ryan, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and get ready to go do post-game interviews. Y'all don't go anywhere. We are going to be right back with uh, Alex McCormick, his player of the game interview. Again, that is brought to you by the Way Bible Church.
The Way Bible Church wants to extend an invitation to everyone. Pastor Joel T. here from The Way Bible Church, and we are beyond excited to support you in all things this year. Whether it's on the field, in the classroom, or in your personal lives, we are here cheering you on every step of the way. Also, we want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you to join us at The Way Bible Church on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m., also on Wednesday nights at 615 p.m. At The Way, we are all about experiencing life change. We have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join us at The Way Bible Church, and let's embark on this journey of transformation together. Let's go Wildcats. And again, Alex McCormick is tonight's Way Bible Church player of the game. The Way Bible Church wants to extend an invitation to everyone to join them on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m. and also on Wednesday nights at 6.15 p.m. At The Way, they are all about experiencing life change. They have a vibrant community awaiting to welcome you with open arms. Join them at The Way Bible Church to embark on a journey of transformation together. Very excited to have our first defensive Way Bible Church player of the game. And we're also super excited to get our post-game interview. Ryan going down there right now to, to meet up with Alex McCormick. You see the players and the cheerleaders. Back-to-back -back wins for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Back-to-back -back home wins for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats as they get the win tonight by a final score of 31 to 28. Looking at some other stats from tonight, Brady Driver with three total touchdowns, two passing and one rushing. That brings him up to 15 on the season. Skylar Lewis uh, with a touchdown of his own. Chris Adams with one as well. And then Braxton Wall had a forced fumble earlier in the night. Braxton Wall has been having a great season so far. Zach Thomas was in on that play as well. Day Day Hall with a huge fourth down stop for the Wildcats. Again, they had the ball. They were driving to put the game away. And then a fumble gives Van Alstine the ball back with a chance to go win the game. But a huge, huge stop. Turnover on downs. Gets the Wildcats the ball back. And they're able to put the game away to improve to 3-1 and one on the season. Again, they'll be back next Friday night on the road at Liberty Isle for anybody that can't make the drive to the game. Join us right here starting at 7 p.m. on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. And uh, if you're looking for us before then, on Tuesday night, the Silver Springs Lady Cat Volleyball Game, we will be broadcasting that right here on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. See Ryan and Chloe down there waiting for Alex as we're going to do our uh, – I believe they are going to the locker room first. Oh, Corey's so, got a mic. Look at that. I try. Producer Corey, what would you try. think about the game tonight? Man, I really like seeing us battle back after some adversity. Yeah. You know, a couple uh, what could have been very costly turnovers. And uh like to see that the defense kind of uh, taking pride and controlling mm -hmm. what they can control. And Yeah, don't forget. Uh, I mean, you, you went into the second half down and Van Alstine had the ball. Yeah, definitely. Could have laid down and died. Could have just, uh, you know, accepted it for what it was and, you know, hey, we lost this one. And That's really been the story of this homestand because you go back to last week's game against Van uh, against Hallsville and you were down 14 to nothing. Yeah. Before come going back, on a 35 come back, to 7 quote run. unquote win, you the, know. <laughs> are, they, are they the comeback cats? Yeah. Hey, maybe we're the cardiac cats this year. <laughs> Might be. Might I'm be gonna, the cardiac I'm get on cats. The headset and talk to Chloe real quick. We're going to test this mic with Ryan. Okay. Again, getting ready for the uh, the post game interview for our Way Bible Church Player of the Game, which is Alex McCormick, our first defensive player of the year last week. Um, though we didn't get to do interviews because of the game got delayed and we didn't get to finish it, but it was Wyatt Watson last week. I believe it was Brady Driver um, in week one. So this is our first defensive player of the game. And again, big shout out to uh, to Ryan for going down there to do the post game interviews. Hope all of y'all are sticking around to see that. Another great, great, great game from uh, from Rose Luke. We'd mentioned him as a player to watch before the game tonight, and obviously we don't have updated stats or anything, but huge game from Rose Luke. Sorry, I thought Corey was hopping back in with me. But, uh, no, great game 
from uh from Rose Luke. Another great great game from Brady Driver, obviously bringing up his uh touchdown total to 15 on the season. Chris Adams got his first of the night or of the year. Skylar Lewis as well. It was touchdown number five for Skylar Lewis. Oh, I forgot to mention, but another place y'all can find us between next Friday night is uh, Wednesday night on Down and Out. Corey, Ryan, and myself. There it is. Appreciate you, producer Corey. Even when he's got a thousand things going on, he's still he's still listening to me in the back of his head. Yeah, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. We'll be back for Down and Out. So it went well tonight, obviously. Uh, I don't have a headset right now. And I don't even know upstairs if we can hear. It's the first time we've had home game broadcast, post-game interviews. We're waiting for Alex McCormick, way Bible church player of the game. But great game tonight. I thought Van Alstein did a lot of good things. Uh, it was a great test for Sulphur Springs in a pre-district setting. Uh, but, you know, uh, Sulphur Springs obviously down the stretch did what they had to do. It was a quick second half. Uh, not a lot of offensive possessions, but came up big when they needed it most. Uh, obviously the... I would say the sequence of the game was the fumble recovery and then, you know, 30-plus yard touchdown to Skylar Lewis, and uh, that, that really sealed the deal. <laughs> Loving the uh, the sideline view. Of course, big shout-out to camera woman Chloe Copel. Yeah, main camera, you're good. Right Want to give a big shout-out to the entire crew here at Chasmia. Yeah, obviously, we've mentioned camera woman <laughs> Chloe Copel, producer <laughs> man Corey There's a lot Hankins. going on. There is a lot going on. Uh, obviously, cameraman Jeremy DeLorge with another – Awesome job tonight. I know y'all just seeing here, myself and Ryan, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more than just that. A lot of moving parts. As again, we are waiting for tonight's player of the game, Alex McCormick. I imagine so that they got a lot to talk about, you know? Yeah, you're right. They definitely <laughs> it's do. It's a big game. Yeah, it's a huge it's a win. big game. Unfortunately, we were talking about this a second ago, but the last time you'll be at the Prim until Friday the 13th in October – a few weeks from now, no, 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 no. be on the road at Liberty Isle next week. Yeah, and uh, that'll be a tough one too. Uh, Liberty Isle, obviously two or one and three, I believe one and two somewhere in there. I believe their only win was tonight, and uh, man, they got to be hungry and uh, yeah. ready to defend that home territory. Yeah, and I feel like that's uh, not necessarily a rivalry the same way like Mount Pleasant or Hallsville is, but those are definitely two schools that are familiar with each other. Yeah, absolutely. And after last year's homecoming win against them, mm -hmm. you got to know, are, are we their homecoming, do we think? Oh, we you know might what? Be. I, maybe. I don't know. Honestly, uh, they might be looking for homecoming uh, revenge, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if that is a thing. It might be. Corey, my favorite thing about this is how many people are – down on the field celebrating yeah it is awesome it love, is awesome love seeing the prim after a win on friday nights and we actually got to see it all the way through this time obviously yeah got, got cut short last week yeah and with only four home games this year yeah uh, you kind of got to capitalize on every single one that you can yeah you're right so, about that obviously we're still waiting on um alex mccormick to come out um yeah who we got next oh we've got oh, we've, uh, we've got oh. some players starting to come out so okay here we go we, we will be shortly Hopefully. Yeah, there. it shouldn't be too much longer. We'll yeah. see how quickly they can find Alex. Well, Chloe was on the wrong side of the field. I guess she didn't know they were going to the, uh, to the oh, locker room. Oh, gotcha. She called it the dugout earlier. Did she really? <laughs> yes. We've so, gotten the, the touchdown, touchdown place. place. We've gotten the, the dugout. dugout. All right. So I'm going to get back on the headset and talk to Chloe. Well, thanks for all the help, buddy. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't go anywhere. The players are starting to come back out now, so – very shortly, we will have our post-game interview, and he will be presented for the first time with the Way Bible Church Player of the Game chain. Again, for those of you that haven't seen it, maybe you haven't got to catch any of the broadcast, or uh, last week we, we just posted the picture on Front Porch News, but uh, I, I do know why it was pumped to have gotten the chain. He was He was all about it, so hopefully Alex will be as well. And that's how it goes. Whoever's the player of the game knows their player. They're coming out last. They're going to make us wait on it. See Alex, the intern down there. Big shout out to Alex King. Uh -oh. Nope. 
Was it an Alex sighting or no? No. Oh. Yeah, we're trying to trying to have an Alex McCormick spotting and just no luck so far. Got to be soon. He's looking, he's looking like we can see him almost. He knows we're waiting on him. He's like, yep, y'all can wait. Okay, I see him down there. There we go. Thank y'all for being patient with us. Thank y'all for waiting on us. We're going to send it down to uh... – Alex McCormick here, player of the game, the Way of Bible Church. Here's your chain. You, you're, you, couldn't, you couldn't imagine how many times we said your name on the broadcast tonight. You seemed like you were just all over the place on defense. Talk, talk, about, talk about your defensive night. Well, uh, you know, I'm going to give props to Coach Page. Be coaching is good, and I just had to do my job, you know. Absolutely. You know, the backfield for Van Alstine, quarterback, running back, both good runners, but, but you guys did a really great job of keeping them in check. And it just seems like, you know, every every big run or every run up the middle, you, you were right on top of it, really all over the ball tonight. Great game. So you just got to read it. So what do you think, you know, another win, two weeks in a row, district is coming up. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like we're going to do good. 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 Okay, yeah, put, put your chain on. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Congratulations, buddy. And there you have it, our TWBC player of the game, Alex McCormick. For the second week in a row, your Silver Springs Wildcats walk away with a win this time by a final score of 31-28, to and they will improve to 3-1 and on the season. Again, we will be back next Friday night from Liberty Ilo. Join us at the same time, 7 p.m. for our pregame show. We'll also be here Tuesday night for Silver Springs Lady Cat Volleyball. You're not going to want to miss out on that. And then again, Wednesday night for Down and Out. Huge thank you to every single one of our advertisers and for everyone for hanging out with us on this Friday night. On behalf of everyone here at Chad's Media, cameraman Jeremy DeLorge, camerawoman Chloe Copel, producer man Corey Hankins, my partner Ryan Humphreys, I'm Tyler Lennon. We'll see you all next time.